All right, so uh, I didn't learn the hard way about burning money and shit back here to the ancestors. I'm going to close the door, but uh, until then, I'm going to leave the door open. But first and foremost, nigga, we going to bring some energy in. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, I put money up to get money down. You know what I'm saying? For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Go on Amazon and get you some ancestor money. You know what I'm saying? Burn that shit with the intent of whatever the fuck your intent is, nigga. I ain't here to tell you, nigga. Life is pimping. Pimp how you want to pimp, my nigga. Do what you do. But uh, first and foremost, we're going to bring some energy in for us. We burning money for our goddamn self. You feel me? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. One for the money. Two for the show. You know what I mean? First and foremost, it's about me, me, and shme, nigga. I burn money for shme, nigga. Then I burn money for all those who shared their DNA, who brought their shit for me to be me. You see what I'm saying? All those ancestors on ancestors on ancestors going dating all the way back to the dawn of time. All those known and unknown. You see what I'm saying? All the ancestors, period. Whatever lineage I'm from and whatever the fuck else, right? We burn one for them. You see what I'm saying? Then, oh, if I can catch the flame. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. Right. Now, we burn one to our highest intent, our highest purposes, our highest cause, whatever that be. May it rise to the forefront and bring us all the happiness, joy, and whatever the fuck else. And we also burn one to the deities, gods, goddesses, those not associated with us, not in our lineage and whatever else, that still choose to fuck with us and help us on the daily. We shoot them some energy too. We send it up to bring it back down. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even that being said, dog, I'm feeling so goddamn right, man. Thank you to my homie, my partner, for getting me to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Brief intermission. Good morning. Give me a hug. Good morning. This is my baby girl. <laughs> I'll be in there to see you as soon as I can. This might take a second. If you want to, you can get the orange pop out of the refrigerator. All right, and there's a big water bottle in there, too. If you want the water bottle, you get the water bottle. All right, all right. Huh? Yep. You can have you. This jewel got water. Okay, look, I'll be back, all right? But give me a, give me a moment, okay? I love you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Big things popping, man. Love that energy. Love that energy. Speaking of which, again, man, you see it coming. Let's go ahead and get balanced. Um, I just I feel the need to do this. Not just that, but um, we getting ready to learn a lot. We getting ready to go through a lot. That's why I'm like, I can't even lie to the kids. Like, I'll be with you in a minute. Give me a moment. We could be here for a while. So go ahead, get strapped in or whatever you got to do, man. I got plenty of motherfucking books. And I'm ready to move around and grab more. I'm feeling fucking great right now, man. I'm telling you. My nigga got me on fucking cloud infinity right now, nigga. Uh, <coughs> but that being said, real talk, um, you might want to lower your volume. Like now, you might want to lower your shit, but... I feel the need to do this, right? Come on, baby. Do who, yeah. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Do what it do. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. She know who I'm talking to. You feel me? She know who I'm talking to. Uh, matter of fact, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I've been burning. Sir Swati. Sir Swati. Don't get me wrong, man. Power is a lot. So shout out to Durga Kali. You know what I mean? Those also in that 
Pantheon, you know what I mean, Sir Swati, Hanuman, shout out to Hanuman, Ganesha, all day, every day. Again, we swear we burn money to all those who open the way and unblock the paths, right? Um, but again, power is one thing, beauty is another, shout out to Lakshmi. Beauty is another, but wisdom and intelligence, you see what I'm saying? Intelligence, wisdom. Saraswati, you can have all the power in the world. You can be as pretty as you want to be. You ever heard of the dumb blind? Hello, Moto. Be as pretty as you want to be. But without the intelligence, the knowledge, the mental fortitude to hold your shit down, you get tricked out of all your bread, my nigga. So I'd rather, hey, life is pimping. You know what I'm talking about? If I got the knowledge, the wisdom, intelligence, I can tell. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that, too. Hey, you know what? Before I even. Hold on. This is why I'm feeling good, feeling great, feeling great, feeling extravagant, nigga. Better than, what's better than good? Feeling great, feeling great, what's better than great? I'm feeling amazing, nigga, extravagant, nigga. Goddamn. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all taking the time to rock with your boy. Uh... The energy got to be right. And all of this other shit. Real talk. You will come to see us. I'm getting ready to share with you niggas. Um, shout out to Blaze, man. For even commenting on my very first fucking video. For bringing me back to the beginning, nigga. I said I would show you what a nigga that don't give a fuck look like. And I mean that. I'm tapped the fuck in, man. I dove off the deep end. There ain't no point in playing defense, nigga. That's why I dove off the deep end, nigga, without a life jacket. Shout out, Nipsey, for whatever the fuck reason. That shit just came in. But you'll see, as I'm finna show you, the metaphysics of astrology. And again, to balance it out and to go ahead and get this shit started. <clears throat> so already, you feel me, belted out my little shit. For my Saraswati, my divine feminine energy, the one in particular that I would like to pull in. Give me the wisdom and the knowledge to share this wisdom and knowledge. And hopefully I'll pick up on the wisdom and the knowledge and not all the crazy shit that's liable to come out of my motherfucking mouth. Um, even that being said, you feel me? We got to tap into the divine masculine as well. And you know where I'm going with it. Uh, ah! Tell me how you're feeling now. I know you're ill now. If I thought y'all niggas really wanted drama, I'd have been put out the armor. Word to my mama. I'ma hit y'all niggas with something that you ain't never felt. <laughs> ah. Now we're going to quote this. We're going to quote this Shakespeare, my nigga. That's all it took. That's all it took. You got to know, man. Hey, with all my every shit, that's all it took. If I thought y'all niggas really wanted drama, I'd have been put out the armor. Word to my mama. I'm going to hit y'all niggas with... Ooh. Ooh. Nigga. It's like, I got to stop. I got to stop. It'd be too much. It'd be too much. It'd be too much. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do that just yet. We can't do that just yet. We got to stay in Professor OZ mode for a little bit longer before we we, we, we pick a nigga apart. Because I told you in my last video, we going to pick a nigga apart. And in the words of my ace, Boo Coon, I, we getting ready to obliterate a nigga. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, babe. I really do. But again, um, and not just that, I'm getting ready to go through some nigga shits. That I know personally, so I can share it with you personally. Um, and again, I'm gonna show you what a nigga that don't give a fuck look like, cause I will. I don't have a problem exposing my shit. And I mean, I'm gonna keep it 100. You see Megatron with his victorious nigga. I got plenty niggas in place. If you think you can touch me or reach me with the fuck shit, by all means, I don't think. That you can. And I don't give a fuck 
if you want to attribute whatever little whatever shit happens to me in my life to, oh, you did that, or this and whatever else, fuck you, nigga, you ain't got enough power, period. So anyways, anyways, that's for all the bitch niggas that, you know what I mean? Because as you will see, I'm going to show you, man, the way life goes and whatever else, again, like nature versus nurture, but like I said in my last video, shit be destiny, man. It just be how life hit. But anyways, we're going to start this shit off right. We're going to start this shit off right. We got, hold on, who is that? Who is that? Is that CeeLo? Yeah, that's the CeeLo Green. CeeLo is the soul machine. We're going to start this shit off right. We got T.I.P. in the house tonight. We're going to start this shit off right. Because you the one girl. You the one girl. Ah, here you are, man. I'm with it. I'm with it. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. All the spirit and the energy. And you see me trying to control it. So let me read this Shakespeare to you. And then we can get started, love. Okay? <clears throat> if I thought you niggers really wanted drama, I'd have been put out the armor. Word to my mama. Armor. Hit y'all niggas with something that you ain't never felt. Hit y'all niggas with fronting. Get caught up in that hell if I thought that half the shit that bitches said was true, sir. I'd be spitting lead at you, sir, to dead your crew, sir. But, if you know a bitch, you don't listen to that bitch. You don't argue with that bitch. All you do is fuck that bitch. Sir, if I listen to all the snake niggas that's running their mouth, I'd be in the crib. I'd be loading up. I wouldn't be in the crib, I'd be loading up to run in your house. But, darling, if you fuck with cowards, but, darling, sorry, I'm misquoting, darling, but, you cannot fuck with cowards, because a coward will be a coward. He'll end up killing these cowards, and I'm not feeling these cowards. If I let the niggas around my way tell me how they feel about me, I guess I really wouldn't be OZ. But I'm the best that ever did it. The best at it because I live it. How many niggas eat it and shit it? You catch once, come and fucking get it. Now tell me how you're feeling now. I know you're healing now. Tell me how you're feeling now. I know you're healing now. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Okay. All right. We good. 13 minutes in. A hell of a fucking number. Thank you for fucking staying with me. I'm not going to flip out too much. We going to get straight to business. Nigga. Straight to motherfucking business. Let me tap one more time, man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, yeah, we got to go into OZ mode. I'm going to try to get through this first part relatively quickly so we can bang a ring on the second part. Um... Let's get to it. Oh, shit. No, oh, shit. Nigga, pull out the Popeyes. The Popeyes come out. That means I done ate my spinach, nigga. The Popeyes come out. That means I done ate my spinach, nigga. That means I done ate my spinach, nigga. Ugh, the thought just came to mind. Speaking of the spinach... We getting ready to eat some greens, nigga. So let's bless the meal. Dear Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, thank you for all that you have done, are doing, and will do in the future. Thank you. I appreciate that shit, my dude, my guy. Sis, thank you. I appreciate the love to all my mothers and mothers' mothers, all the spiritual mothers, both known and unknown. Thank you so much. Now, please, bless this meal that we are about to digest mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and in any other realm, in any other dimension. Thank you. Veal whore. <laughs> so let's get to it. I'm going to try to run through this first part relatively quickly again because... Um, it, it, it matters. And on some advanced shit, um, 
That's part of the reason why it's, it's so worthy. Get the book, Metaphysics of Astrology, Why Astrology Works. We're getting ready to tackle the part of why astrology works. Um, in the last video, I just kind of went straight to the end. Uh, uh, excuse me. I apologize, but let's get it. You see that fire coming. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Nigga always makes something spiritual, right? Nigga burp. Damn, it was just a burp. Nigga didn't got to be all spiritual. But what if it was? <laughs> anyways, maybe that burp was the catalyst necessary to stop me from running longer tangents I might have. Who knows? But it be that deep fucking with a nigga like me, and you will soon see why. So again, um, I went through like the last three pages of that shit. On this shit, I want to go through why astrology works, and then I want to get past. Um, I want to. I want to get past what is. The section in here called. I want to get through this section, right? Some basic facts and misconceptions about astrology. Um, let's just let's just read and you know what I'm saying rock and roll. Let's just rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna <laughs> we gonna try to roll through the book as much as we can while we rock out our thoughts, man. Um, why the fuck did I? It's Professor Z mode. I feel the need to explain shit. You know what I'm saying? I guess, well, yeah, Nigga, I'm feeling great. Alright, man. I hope y'all appreciate the energy. I'm so glad it took this goddamn long. But that's why I say, man, I be understanding. I, I get it. I get it. I should go get hey, 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 hey. Let me do this. Let me do this, right? Let me get you started. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> So, again, I'm going to try to roll through this really quick. It actually gives you an introduction and then goes into uh, some basic facts and misconceptions, all right? Um, the part I want to go through relatively fast is the anthropic principle and human physical embodiment. I'm going to try to sum that up. We advanced as fuck. And, again, if you own YouTube, you can YouTube all kind of shit so that you can truly get a deeper understanding of the shit. Um, but, anyways... Get your forks and your spoons, nigga. Let's dive in. Okay, at the moment a newborn baby draws his first breath, the spirit of this world enters it and gives it life. This is the spirit of time. This is the spirit of time. This is the spirit of time. The moment the baby inhales. Because of the unity of nature, every moment is the embodiment of all existence. Because of the unity of nature... Omnipresence every single moment. Like I said again, man, here goes the rocking out part. Um, again, even though a nigga is in the house, I'm in a fucking house that is made of materials. There is air in the goddamn house. I am still in fucking nature. There's all kind of books and fibers and all kind of shit. This is cotton and whatever the fuck made from tree. There's all uh, nigga, I'm in nature. I'm in nature, man. We steeped in it. No matter what the fuck, see, that's the that's the unity of nature, you see what I mean? Lesser niggas will have you thinking going outside is, is nature and this and that and whatever, which true indeed it is. But, like, with the Chinese zodiac, as it, it mentions in here as well, the Chinese zodiac, my nigga, one of the things is metal. One of them, one of their, of, of, of their classifications is metal. Like, nigga, I'm a wood ox. What if I was a metal ox? But it's metal. Again, so basically, that's motherfucking nature. So even if you in a building made of steel and all of this and whatever the fuck else, bitch ass nigga, it is made of something that was made from something into something. So nigga, it's nature. Because of the unity. And again, you know, fair, fair use all that other whatever shit that clears us to read directly from the book and learn. Um, at, because of the unity of nature, every moment is the embodiment of all existence. See, every moment, you are never not being hold out by something. You can't hold your breath right now because you're depending on the very amount of air or oxygen or whatever else in the fucking room. Let there be one of them whatever fucking machines like you see in all these goddamn movies that suck out the oxygen in the room. So even though you in the goddamn room, if there's no oxygen, nigga, you can't even breathe. You're done. So, again, the world is filled with pimps and hoes. We'll just talk about those I know. Nigga, I'm in a very motherfucking musical mood. You know what I'm saying? I got the fucking vibe. I got the fucking vibe. Rock with a nigga. 
Roll with a nigga. Hey, man, I wish I, I eventually I'm going to figure out how to do some shit where I can have music and shit. Anyways, fuck all that shit. See, 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 one thing about being open to the spirits and this and that, like I got a lot of shit in the 12th house as I will show you here in a minute. One thing about being open to the spirits and this and that is, um, like I told my partner, I try to tell my partner, man, because it's so very fucking real to me. And this is, take notes, class. <laughs> Take notes on this, man. Like the sixth sense, when you see them niggas, they can see you, nigga. When you see them niggas, they can see you. So, just in general, man, when you start fucking with some of these spirits and elements and this and whatever else, man, because you are meant for a higher purpose, again, you, just the fact that we own this and we doing this, you know what I'm saying, you may be an advanced soul, and because you have a higher purpose, this, that, and the third, and whatever else, there are certain deities, energies, both malefic and beneficial to you, you know what I'm saying, that are out here making moves that you can't even see, you know what I'm saying, oh, 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 man. Mm. Mm. I know it was the blood, oh yes, I know it was the blood, oh yeah, I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. He never said a mumbling word. All right, I ain't gonna run off on too much of a tangent. I ain't gonna keep doing that. I ain't gonna keep doing that. But holy shit! <coughs> Holy shit. Again, man. Um, <laughs> you got to pay attention to certain shit. There is shit in the background that's working for you and against you. Whether you know it or not. Whether you choose to believe in it or not. And as I said and showed hopefully in the last video, Destiny, man, that's for simps and suckers but just allowing life to go the way it goes it is what it is and also acceptance man knowing this is your plot nigga this is your take in life this is what is meant for you you have to accept that shit and take it for what it is. You have to accept that shit. At the end of the day, your parents are your parents. Your DNA is your DNA, nigga. Your avatar, what the fuck body you in, is what the fuck body you in. And it comes with a whole fucking package of emotions, skills, this, that, and the third. You feel me? It, you got all of that. So you have to accept your shit. Again, you accept your fucking lot in life and do what you do. The hidden life of trees. What's so fucking dope about trees? Wherever the fuck they fall. Wherever the fuck they fall. The rose that grew from concrete. We talking plants, nigga. Wherever the fuck they fall. I'm getting ready to make the best life I can from right fucking here. And I'm not going to move as best I can from right fucking here. This is it, nigga. This is your spot in life. Take it from the fucking trees, dog. Symbolism and whatever. This is your spot in life, nigga. This is you. This is your fucking spot in life. Now, grow. Do it the best you can. It may fucking suck. Other goddamn seeds fall over there. And it may be two feet away from you. Ten fucking feet away from you. You see what I'm saying? Niggas were born on your birthday. Ten seconds before you was. So they degrees is different, nigga. Niggas was born on your birthday a different year than you was. So they shit is different, nigga. Which hopefully if I can uh, show you a little bit. One of my phones is fucking dead. Um... And I probably won't I should. But anyways, I need to go grab my motherfucking photo. I might pause it, run and go get it. But point being, uh, my pops and what I consider a good friend of mine is if you can 
um, with the goddamn Aquarius, they love freedom of all goddamn kinds. So as soon as anything kind of feels too touchy feely, too clingy rather, not even touchy feely. No, we can say touchy feely because it's a goddamn earth sign. And all earth signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they don't understand feelings. It's like their thing in life to understand feelings. As I said it, I said it again. I remember hearing a nigga say probably some YouTube shit. Or maybe I read it. But anyways, wherever the fuck it comes from, it came from that source. But you'll find more earth signs in the fields of psychology and all of that type of shit than any other sign. Because they don't naturally understand feelings or deal with them. So in an attempt to balance that, they go seeking for that. How the fuck can you objectify feelings? They have to know. But anyways, 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 I'm just, I'm just saying I'll show you the subtle differences between this nigga and that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Pops' energy is like this. Uh, this other nigga's energy is like that. But in the secret language of relationships, one of this stack of books that I got um, allowed me to show you my um, daddy fat stacks, nigga. I got stacks and whatnot, and that's hiding the stacks. See, bingo, nigga, more stacks, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> daddy fat stacks, nigga. Mm -hmm. We got books on books, but I'll show you a little difference, a little subtle difference. But um, in the secret language of relationships, it says that um, people, those born during my week, the week of manifestation, and people born during my father's week, the week of the genius, um, I believe it's like January 23rd through January 30th, the week of manifestation, April 25th through May 2nd. And that's just me off the top of my head. I can confirm it here in a second. But the week of manifestation, the week of the genius. They're best in a friendship relationship. Um, and this is going to come out again um, because when you really subscribe to the there is no good or bad. And as I will show you with my homeboy, hope you listen and whatever, follow me close as well as you can as well, man. Um, it's dope as fuck trying to do this video. And again, the more time it takes to come out, the more information and shit comes about. And the more of a, 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 a complete video I can give you. Like, I've got Saturn and Scorpio, right? Saturn and Scorpio. So, Saturn is responsibility and, and, and structure and shit like that and whatever else. Um, limitations and restrictions. And it's one of the greater malefic Maleficent, 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 whatever the fuck. It's one of the greater malefic. Yeah, I think it's malefic. One of the greater malefic, meaning the planets that quote unquote have a negative influence. If you look at it again, not necessarily from again the, the like the feminine and the masculine. You see what I mean? It's definitely one of the masculine shits. So if you don't look at it like toxic masculinity and whatever else, again, Saturn put, puts the structure and the limitations in your life until you go through this shit. Saturn is where you definitely going to have to go through some shit. Your 12 trials of Hercules, nigga. Find out where the fuck Saturn is. I got this book right here. Saturn, a new look at an old devil. <clears throat> Liz Green. A New Look at an Old Devil, Saturn, by Liz Green, forward by Robert Hand. Here's the fuck. A New Look at Old Devil, because um, again, we're getting ready to go deep with this shit. Let me show you why you should be pimping, why life is pimping. And if I thought you niggas really wanted drama, I'd have been put out the armor. Word to my mama. I'ma hit y'all niggas with something that you ain't never felt. Hit y'all niggas for fronting. Get caught up in that hell. Slipped and I fell. Got back up and slipped again. But no matter what it's been, niggas never got to win. It's a thin line I walk every day, but I'm good with it. Project nigga all my life, but couldn't say the hood did it. Knew what I was doing every day that I was doing it. Seeing niggas having a good time, and I'm going to ruin it. Fuck you and fuck your man. Both y'all niggas is puss. DMX is on one tonight, nigga. DMX and Nipsey started, man. Let's, let's rock, nigga. Let's rock. So, again, man, um, knowing a nigga, ain't none of this shit good and or bad. To me, it's just fucking energy. It is energy. And that's how you have, how I got to look at it. You see what I'm saying? It's just, it's just how I have to look at it, right? Um, love to express the doubt, doubt, doubt. We gonna, we gonna get in it. We gonna get in it. But, like, having an ability, having a, an, an, an effective ability to communicate with others, 
for lack of better whatever right now. We'll get deeper into it, but just to kind of tie it into what I'm saying, right? It's the energy that's there. You know what? You know what, bro? I'll use myself as this because this will allow me to go ahead and move forward and with the example and not pick on that since we are going to come to it later on here soon. Don't know how long, but we could be here for an hour or two, so we will get to it. Um, but again, myself, right? I'm born April 28th, okay? And I can't even show you this in the book, so I have to go by thought, and that's the personal shit. You know what? I give it to you. I give it to you as well. Um, my birthday isn't in the birthday book because... A nigga looked me up, I'll just say a nigga to not chime in nothing else, but a nigga looked me up, and it was everything I've been fucking saying this whole goddamn time. Like, I knew me before I knew me, but I knew me, because again, as advanced niggas and this and that, you already knowing this shit. You knowing this shit. So it's really good to go ahead and have that fucking confirmation, and... If you can be honest with yourself, see, everybody might not end up like me. Um, I knew the negative shit. I also knew the positive shit. I've always felt this kind of way. And you you will see why here in a second. But again, everybody ain't got that, which is why I say acceptance is huge. You got to accept the, 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 what's the fucking one prayer? Give me the to courage to accept the things I cannot change. You know what I'm saying? And the serenity to know the difference. So the wisdom to know the difference. The serenity to change, the, to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Whatever the fuck quote that is. You know what I'm saying? Somebody comment that shit for me, man. I appreciate that shit. OZ, do me a favor. Anyways, anyways, even if you don't, like, share, subscribe. But don't do none of that shit. Keep running and hiding. It's all good. So, 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 so. Um, we'll move forward, we'll move forward. But again, man, the shit that's quote-unquote good qualities can still be technically bad qualities. So to use myself as an example, um, the secret language of birthdays, on one side it gives you the um, three positive traits, three negative traits, if you have three. Not everybody has three. Some of them just have two. I've not seen a person with only one, but some of them just have two. I can say that. But... Uh, mine, which I think it's really cool. Anyways, mine are this, right? I am steadfast, dependable, and solid. Those are my st three strengths. My negatives, I am inflexible, domineering, and insensitive. So I consider myself lucky because according to me, and it might just be the way I argue, but according to me, my three strengths straight up balance my three weaknesses you see what i'm saying so i can look at them both as in the same goddamn shit um and again one of those things that just sucks about my birthday is this truly the shit superheroes i made out of that's what it says you know what i'm saying um one of the things I, I pay attention to on the birthday book as well is how it'll say uh those highly evolved on this birth born on this day do this shit that shit which which whoop. Those highly evolved, born on April 28th, make superb friends, lovers, and parents, and whatever else, right? The less highly evolved tend to manifest the same result. We go crazy or insane. We'll do the same shit over and over. Tar, stubborn, in, insatiable ass, stubborn, hard-headed ass niggas. We'll do the same shit over and over and over again, expecting different results. You know what I'm saying? That's the definition of insanity, which is basically how it explains it. And I'm like, insane. So anyways, but again, it straight up says that shit. So in an effort to be, you see, I'm going to tell you, it'll drive some niggas insane. If they're trying to prove that you're the one that's fucked up, you see what I mean? Or something's wrong with you. And you can go to the book and it's like, oh, no, ain't nothing wrong with me. But anyways, again, positive or negative, right? Either one of these things can still be taken. It's energy is how I look at it. It can be taken either way, right? But for me to be steadfast, I have to be inflexible. I will not budge. Steadfast. I will continue the course. I will finish the fucking mission. I have to be inflexible. I will not budge. Now, if me and you are on a mission, all those who oppose are going to be fucking pissed off about it. I'm not going to... I will not budge. And that's just what it is. I'm not coming off of that. So it could be taken as a negative. You see what I mean? Boom, boom. There you go. Steadfast. Inflexible. Domineering. What's the other shit? Inflexible. Domineering. Steadfast. Dependable. Dependable. I think that's what I was saying. Dependable, right? Well, you can depend on me. Domineering. But you can depend on me. Shit's gonna be done my way. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do shit my way. I won't have what I want because there are people who depend on me. 
You see what I'm saying? Steadfast, dependable, and solid. There are people who depend on me, so I have to be domineering. You see what I'm saying? See, see, see. Um, <clears throat> Saddam Hussein was also born on my birthday. But even like with the domination, the domineering side or whatever else, Saddam Hussein explains a lot about me. But anyways, 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 I'm just saying, man. The domineering side and dependable. I got to be domineering. My Those who oppose me, whatever else, they're not going to like it. But this fucking nation, I'm sorry, domineering, dependable. But this guy, fuck it. The nation depends on me. I got this whole goddamn nation depending on me. So, yes, when it comes to business, foreign relations with that bitch, I'm domineering as fuck. I'm Saddam Hussein, bitch. I'm OZ. Act like you know me or approach me like ain't no hoe in me or die slowly as can be. <clears throat> Sorry, I digress. We're in Professor OZ mode, darling. And we need to get back to it. <clears throat> we need to get back to it. But again, man, just accepting your lot in life, nigga. This is what it is. This is what you stuck with. This is what you got. We got it. We, we, we gonna have to. It is what it is, bro. It just is what it is. Um, but paying attention to this shit. So steadfast, dependable, and solid. So how can I be solid? You feel me? Steadfast, dependable, and solid. How can I be solid? I have to be insensitive to be solid because I'm putting on for these niggas that depend on me. You see what I'm saying? I have to complete the mission for the niggas that depend on me. I'm solid. So that's insensitive. I stand by. Something else it says about my birthday on April 28th. Anybody else that enjoys the April 28th. What we stand for is not easily forsaken. Whatever I decide is what it's not easily forsaken. So back to the steadfast, dependable, and solid. The week of manifestation. I make shit happen. Bitch! Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I make shit happen, man. We make shit happen going on these days. So I'm just saying. Steadfast, dependable, solid. But you see what I mean? The, po the, the positives can just as easily be the negative. So even when a motherfucker's telling you, if a motherfucker is telling you something is good or something is bad, that in and of itself can be misleading. And you have to be able to discern. God grant you the wisdom. Sir Swati, back to that. Sir Swati. Om Ain Sir Swati Namah. 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 Straight up, you know what I mean? God grant me the wisdom to know the fucking difference. You see what I mean? So, the good or the bad, it doesn't even matter, man. It's all nature. It just is what it is, right? It, it, it. So, Every moment is the embodiment of all existence. It is shaped by the whole, the cosmos, the position of the earth in relation to the sun. All of nature is energy which expresses itself by shaping itself in various forms. And the mother, when an infant cuts its physical ties, and the moment, at the moment, when an infant cuts its physical ties to its mother, its connection to the new, wider whole is introduced. The connection to the cosmos. Now, here comes the highlighted part. <laughs> With its initial breath, it takes the energy of the entire cosmos into its lungs, while in its mother's womb it simply existed as its body was being formed. In its newborn environment, it will have to actively participate in its existence, as the entirety surrounding it will form its personality. After its birth, a child enters the drama of all possible life experiences, full of events in their essence these events are motion and movement reflecting the true nature of the cosmos which is represented by general and perpetual movement <sighs> i told you in the last video this nigga has long ass motherfucking sentences <clears throat> and me with my mercury and gemini um it's like some shit I feel like you could break down each goddamn sentence and every couple words can truly has meaning. I can see the depth in it. I'm just saying, man, goddamn. It's like I could stop. This could take me forever. 
as you see in the last video, just to go through certain shit. I could read a paragraph or two, read a sentence or two and get lost in thought. Like, oh my God, oh my God. You know, this is Mercury in the 12th. Like, damn, this is this and that's how that connects. And this is connected and that's and that, and that, and that. You know what I'm saying? Mercury is in the 12th house. Mercury is also in Aries, so I'm quick to connect dots. Oh, shit. Boom, 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 boom. Well, this came from that. That came from that. See, I'm so quick. I can pull the information before I can tell you the source of where I got it from. And that's also why I'd be like, yeah, but fuck all that. It's about sharing the information. Again, Gemini, let me give you the information. You can figure out the source and this and that and whatever else. Um, also, Mercury in the 12th. That's what I was saying before, man. Why you gotta talk to these bitch niggas the way you gotta talk to these bitch niggas. I know, boy, just now, but I've know through my life experiences and whatever else, I'm vulnerable to slander. Something I had said before I read this shit in the book just now, um, something I said, I tell, like, like at work and whatever else, I would say, oh, this is James Osborne. He did it with a, the famous James Osborne. Whatever somebody says, I'm like the famous James. I'm like, no, nah, nigga, no, nah, hold on. I'm the infamous OZ. Let's just go on ahead, depending on who, and they're like, oh, no, man, everybody loves you. Yeah, depending on who you talk to, I might as well tell you now. And the whole reason, like, why I say that is because the world is filled with pimps and hoes. I'm just talking about those I know. And like I said, nigga, any 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 nigga. You see all these motherfucking eyes, any nigga in the Matrix. Any nigga in the Matrix can be Agent Smith at any motherfucking time. So, I let all the hoes know I'm motherfucking pimping at all goddamn times. Nigga, you might be one of the bitch ass niggas hating on me behind the back and whatever else. But just the fact that I'm straight up telling you in front of everybody, oh no, I'm the infamous James Osborne. I know niggas hate my guts, nigga. I know there are niggas in here that hate my guts and may they slink around and keep sl sliding all sleazy and greasy until they let it be known. See, I'm the type nigga with my Leo shit. I take it as a sign of respect. Keep shooting your shit back there, nigga, and talking shit back there, nigga, because you know with the airy shit what'll happen if you come challenge the god of war, Ogun, nigga. My bad. You know what'll happen if you come this way. Hanuman, nigga. Sun Wukong, Monkey King. I am you, law. Nobody's bitch. When I say, who's the master? You say, I am. <laughs> Nigga. Anyways, anyways, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, man, I can get lost in a moment. I'm feeling fucking great. This is some good shit. So we're going to keep rocking. We're going to keep rocking, you know what I'm saying? We got time. That was part of the thing as well, man. Like, I knew I, there's no way I could squeeze this shit into a... A 20, 30 minute fucking video. There's no goddamn way, nigga. We need time. So, Professor Ozimo, we're going to keep reading. We're going to keep reading, right? With its initial breath, right? When it, while it, 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 it with its. Mercury in the 12th, illusion. With its initial breath, it takes the energy of the entire cosmos into its lungs. While in its mother's womb, it simply existed as its body was being formed. Okay, okay, okay. So, what this is meaning. All right. While it was in the mom, it was still connected to the mom. It was not an individual. It was connected to the mom. It was still part of her. So as soon as it comes out and breathes now, it is in its own shit. Um, another thing I, I like to throw out there and keep in, in memory, uh, the law of attraction and whatever else. Nigga, you've been dealing with all of this shit your entire life. Shit's been happening to you since a baby. Some motherfuckers with the uh, NDEs and their death experiences and shit like that, nigga. Some motherfuckers start having experiences when they was a baby. Having memories from being a baby, nigga. That's taking it back. What about the trauma? Like how they, they laugh. They, they always use a little comedic joke and shit about niggas who uh, fall down the stairs. You know what I'm saying? Or being dropped as a baby. Shaking baby syndrome and whatever else, right? Now... If there was no record of that or something, how would you know? 
that that shit affected you or how, you know what I mean? But some motherfuckers have memories. So anyways, I'm just saying, man, point is the shit that's been happening since the very moment you drew Beth is what's been a drawing you here. You see what I'm saying? Like my four-year-old, he don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's just living in this and that and whatever else. It's up to us to indoctrinate him. He's taking shit off of YouTube, this, that, and whatever else, man. But he's not like fully conscious of whatever the fuck he's got going on. It's up to us to show them what life is and whatever else. But again, the way he's thinking whatever's natural to him and how he just gravitates towards fucking shit up, tearing up whatever the fuck is going to get his ass whooped by me. So he's learning what to do and what not to do. Back to the mind control. The first niggas that put you through this are your parents. So your parents been fucking you up or not fucking you up since the day you were born. So the first motherfuckers that again, even if you choose to, this is why this is why they quote unquote say the Caucasian race is a little bit But anyways, I ain't going to get into all that. I ain't going to get into all that right now. I ain't saying about all that right now either. But point being, again, this is why a lot of people be so fucked up like over their parents and whatever else. You did this shit. You gave me this shit. You know what I mean? Um, I told my partner earlier in the, in the day, because obviously you see the sun out. It's daytime now. But I told my partner earlier in the day, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Kids really do come in at the extremes at both poles of life, you know what I mean? On one end, it's a whole lot of love, a whole lot of love, a thin line between love and hate. But on the actual end, it's also a whole lot of hate. And kids can, for lack of better words, fuck it and keep it 100 with you, new, with, with you as well. Because, uh, now what y'all want me to do? Keep your shit the hardest. I hear you, DMX. I hear you, DMX. Keep your shit the hardest. Real talk, some of these motherfucking kids, this is straight up, man. If you wasn't thinking about them, you wasn't physically like, oh, I would have a baby with this nigga. You ain't never had that conversation, that thought before and whatever else. A lot of these babies, how they talk about being demons and this and whatever else. A lot of niggas, they came here to fuck you up. <clears throat> they came here to fuck you up. They chose you, nigga. They chose this life and everything that they was getting ready to go through and whatever else. Advanced souls, like I said, the punk science, um, the book punk science around here, wherever it is. Advanced souls, um, time is no thing. Time is no thing. I got a co-worker that just asked me how I feel about memories and death and, and, and whatever else, right? I'm like, oh. And it was from another co-worker that told this nigga, I'm the nigga to talk to. But time is no thing. Time is no thing. Time is no thing. I say this as well. Even with that being said, let's burn another, burn some more money since we talking about these niggas. And you know I'm real nigga and energy goes. Let's burn some more. Ooh, you caught that motherfucking flame quick. Ooh, that was quick, quick flick with the big, my neck. <laughs> but uh, 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 um, yeah, man. You know, like I said before, I say it again. Candy Crush, any type of game, you know what I mean, where you got those diamonds, you got the gems, you got to pay extra for the gold bars or whatever else, them games. But I like Candy Crush because it's like you got to complete the mission in X amount of moves, whatever the mission may be. You got to do it in X amount of moves, right? Right. So, hold on, nigga, we ain't done. Keep burning. Woo, get the flame. Ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, nigga, I'm hard. Anyways, my bad, I digress. I'm sorry. Y'all get to rock with me. Um, but again, those games, right? What I'm trying to say is, don't fuck up the blunt, nigga. We still got the smoke. But y'all want to hit? All right, all right, all right. Let me hit the weed, too. Let's hit the weed for the ancestors and the OGs, those known and unknown. All of them, you know what I'm saying? All of them, unknown and unknown. Not know this the most, from the highest vibration to the lowest. Maybe we raise them all, you feel me? To the day we have none. Hold on, I hear my phone in the background. Let me take a quick break. Alright, we back. You don't know how long it was. It was gone. It was just a brief uh, uh, for you. But anywho, we back. Um, and that's even dope because I got my phone. Because again, man, I really want to show you how easy it is. If I thought y'all niggas really wanted drama, I'd have been put out the arm. You get a nigga birthday, you got him. You get a nigga birthday, you got him. And if you care enough, again, I don't give a fuck what it takes to care. You can use all these emotions. Care is this it. Period. If you so jealous that you care. It's what is the thin line between love and hate. Hey, like I said, I was saying about the kids, man. Just to sum that up real quick. 
um, real child. They not always. It's not always. Again, at the end of at the end of the, the the lifetime or whatever, should you believe in like the Egyptian shit? It's the perfect example that I like to use, right? If they say your light has to, your heart has to be lighter than a feather. What makes the heart heavy? Emotions. This is why touch is the most powerful. Feel is the most powerful of the emotions. Because that's why even when we're hit you, they give you seats, whatever it is. Oh, I'm touched. Like actually touched, right? Because that touch, tech, uh, um, tactile sensation, right? Touch, tactile sensation. That sensation, this is how you know this is it. That's it. When you get touched, you know this is it. This is where your body stops and the quote unquote rest of the world begins. So touch is very powerful. But point being, your heart has to be lighter than a feather. So certain deities, gods, goddesses, ancestors, whatever the fuck. You see what I'm saying? Like I put on, like I said, for even the lowest vibrational niggas. So how can you hate on me? You can, you could try and whatever else, but it's going to be considerably weakened. Because like the Grinch, nigga, instantly. Just the fact that, you know, of all the greasy, grimy shit and lifetimes, whatever else, you might have caught a glimpse of me. But like the Grinch, nigga, you come across me, bitch, your heart's gonna grow three times bigger than it was. So whatever again, and it still may be a shitty heart or a shitty deal, but it'll be three times less shitty than how you came into the thing. I remember posting something on Facebook, right? Right? And it was like, you don't fight fire with fire. And I'm like, technically, I don't mind. Or again, sort of like matching energy. You see what I'm saying? My fire burns so bright. Burns so bright. is so powerful. Absorbs so much energy. That it requires everything and anything that's combustible in my vicinity. Anything that can burn. So the moment you do come at me with fire, I'm immediately going to get on fire. Because my fire is going to eat whatever fire that you thought you was burning off of. You see what I'm saying? You burning... But you ain't going to be burning for too much longer because all that shit's finna come over here. And the fear you thought you had has now been absorbed by me. And now you fear me, bitch ass nigga. So thank you for bringing all that fur into the room. Mm. Nigga, that was mm, delectable, delicious, you hoe ass nigga. You, you mad about anything else? You want to straighten out anything else, bitch made nigga? Anything else you want to talk about? Let's discuss it, bitch. <sighs> Anyways, man, we ain't even got nowhere. And I <laughs> have been an hour in. But I'm fine with you, and I hope you understand. Welcome to the mind of a maniac. Alright, alright, alright. That's enough, bud. So we out. Alright, you know what I'm saying? Again, again, again. So, point being, yeah, man, you've been dealing with this. You've been bringing this shit in. It's been going through. It's been happening the entire time. Again, the science of love, pulling out that book, wherever the fuck it is, it's around there somewhere. But Big Purple Book, The Science of Love by, I want to say, Baines. But The Science of Love. Damn, who's the author of that shit? I can't believe I didn't forget it, but oh well, oh well, oh well. Again, see, like I said, being open to certain shit, when you can see them, they can see you. There's certain shit that'll just slip shit out, slip shit from your mind, take shit away, rip away from you again. Even exposing all of this and whatever else. There's shit that really likes what you're doing and there's shit that really don't want you to say that. Don't do it. Stretch this shit out as much as you can or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Keep taking it. Keep taking it. Because a lot of niggas, they're not going to last 53 minutes, OZ. A lot of niggas ain't going to last two hours, OZ. Fuck them. They're going to get what they can. But even the shit I said in this 54 minutes was powerful as fuck. And I'll keep going. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and take the shot. That'll keep me. No, no, no. We'll take the shot. We'll take the shot um, with the next shit. But basically, yeah, man, the science of love is all I'm trying to say. And the science of love, a lot of this shit happens to you in your childhood. It's a lot of what you went through as a child, a literal 
baby from your childhood years. Your first chakra is the first seven years of your life. That's the root chakra. The fuck you went through from ages one to seven. Ages one to seven. You got memories of that shit? Can you remember that shit? I suggest you start fucking meditating on that. Or you start getting niggas to fill you in about that shit. Immediately. It matters more than most. Again. It's my control whether they know it or not. Whether you want to believe it or not. It's nature. You were born to who you were born to. How you was born. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The birds... They may, I, I don't know, I don't get into all of that. But nigga, if you were cardinal, you were cardinal. You feel me? Even that is a very spiritual thing, the cardinal bird, man. Look up the cardinal bird as a total spiritual animal, cardinal bird, nigga. Anyways, I digress, because see, the next thing that's going to happen is I'm trying to keep an eye on my battery life, nigga. That shit's getting ready to tap out, and I'm going to really be salty. <clears throat> but it is what it is. I mean, even if I got to take a brief pause and then come back, let this shit charge for a little second and then come back and finish the fucking video, we will get it done. But anyways, again, I'm just saying, man, to finish it out, shit comes from everywhere and anywhere, man. It could be anywhere, everywhere, and anywhere. You know what? You know what? You know what? I am going to take another brief pause. My bad. All right, we back with the black. Let's get it. <clears throat> you know, I had a little... I didn't want to be rude and just start munching. But I'm like, you know what? Let me hurry up. Eat a little granola and whatnot. So I ain't got to even... Like, I'm... Shit's growling. So I'm like, can these niggas hear this shit? And I'm over here growling like a motherfucker. But it's also, again, man, the spirit is like... Hey, they want something sweet. So I went with the oats and honey granola. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Back to business, right? Check me out. <clears throat> After its birth, the child enters the drama of all possible life experiences full of events. But I guess I took a little break. I got to say it again. But I'm sorry. I'm going to say it again. It was your childhood that shaped a lot of this shit coming out. And again, if you're going to be mad at anybody you outside of yourself, be mad at your motherfucking parents for fucking and actually having you. Be mad your mama didn't wait five more minutes or two more hours. You would have had a day, you know what I mean? You might have had a Virgo moon instead of a fucking Scorpio or Leo one, you know what I mean? It was before, yeah. No, 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 no. Virgo, after Virgo's Libra, right, you might have had a Virgo moon instead of a Libra one, you know what I mean, um, my father, on his actual birthday, I don't know what time it was, but after looking at him and analyzing the shit, um, he definitely does not have a Libra moon, he definitely does have a Scorpio moon, most definitely, I know his energy, but my partner, um, good friend of mine, good buddy, of mine, um, he has that sun god energy, you know what I mean, we know who the sun god is, Lord Ra, but anyways, um, and again, bro, it's even doper, because, like, my dude has a Leo rising, I do believe, so it's like, sun, hello, <sighs> dropping my shit, my bad, but the sun, hello, uh, even doper, even doper, but again, um, you know what I mean, I, I know niggas born on certain days, you know what I mean, that you got a different moon, it is what it is. Me and my sister are both Tauruses, you feel me, but, excuse me, I've got the Leo shit, she's got the Capricorn shit, my rising sign, you know, I got this shit going on, she got that shit going on. You know, so even though we're both Tauruses, we don't all line up to that same Taurus type shit or her factors to why she's what she's stubborn and this and that about is different than what I'm stubborn and whatever else about. But I'm just saying it could even come down to like that type of shit, you know what I'm saying, the actual date. Um, I'll show you in this book as well. We're, we're going to show you a couple different things. But hopefully that shit will go a lot faster 
than this shit. It'll be more, again, this is the lecture, students. So, uh, I hope you as prepared as I tried to forewarn you to be. And you know what? Not to even be condescending or arrogant. This is the lecture, fellow bookers, fellow individuals, fellow humans on this journey, fellow spirits, all of that shit. This is the lecture. <clears throat> so let's get to it, man. I'll try to speed it up. I'll try to speed it up. I will try. But it is tough because I talk a whole lot of shit. So, again, we'll try to hit the, the highlighted shit. God damn. I don't want to go through the whole thing. But it matters. It, well, maybe we can. I'll just read through the... Yeah, we'll try to hit the highlighted shit. Real quick, real quick. Okay. Lost my page when I dropped the fucking book. All right. <clears throat> Astrology show... Okay, okay. In their essence, these events are motion and movement reflecting the true nature of the cosmos, which is represented by general and perpetual movement. In their essence, these events, so everything that happens to you, as above, so below is what they're saying, reflecting the true nature of the cosmos. Up to the cosmos, right? So, astrology shows us how this movement takes place following the law of the Goshen Golden Ratio. Astrology shows us how this movement takes place following the law of the golden ratio, the sacred geometry. You know what I mean? You start out and you spiral out and this and that and it's all proportionate until the golden ratio. So, <clears throat> right. The same way the mother's body formed the infant, the movement of the meaning of events of this world will form the infant's psyche. Their motherfucking mind. It starts from the moment you're born. You see, you can't control that shit. So again, back to like accepting it. Accepting your motherfucking fate. Your destiny, nigga. Accepting that this is the challenge. This is the challenge. This is the challenge. The destiny of every human is to become an independent person and attain a state of utter authenticity. Nobody else can be you. The state of self or the consciousness of their soul, which means conscious unity with the whole, Including all misunderstandings and flaws in horoscope interpretation when something else is expected. When something else is expected. Why the fuck is something else expected? Because of mind control. Because of human socializing and, and all of the shit we have governing our governments, our rules and our laws. This human shit. You expect something else again the very day I was born on. I cannot keep doing the same shit expecting the same result or different results. You see what I'm saying? I can't do the same shit expecting different results. I'm expecting the result I got the last time I did this shit. And call the spade a spade and I ain't moving on that. Inflexible, dominant, whatever. But accepting your fucking fate and then... Changing the wheel, dialing whatever else. You see what I'm saying? Like, um, I got a book called Energy Work. I had brought it up. But one of the things it talks about is a golden plank, where you envision a golden plank, you know what I mean, sweeping your body and whatever else. To me, it reminds me of, like, when you step through an x-ray machine. You know what I mean? When you step through an x-ray machine, how it scans everything on your body and says, all right, you got this on you, you got this metal on you, do it again. You feel me? That's the type of shit. When you have your imagination and whatnot together, you on your mystical, magical shit, this nigga was like, 
Um, I gotta do some rituals or do something, whatever, to get some of this negative shit up off. I'm like, I said, like, nigga, I do that shit every day. Every day. I could have said I do that shit often, every hour, or however, you know what I'm saying? But point being, you got the imagination and whatnot on you, right? I told you, I have the book, Creating Magical Entities. I got superstars out there. I got Megatron and all this type of shit out there. And they get bigger the more bullshit they block. So me lightweight inviting a nigga to bring some shit my way. They get stronger every goddamn time they block some shit. So it ain't doing nothing but getting my nigga stronger. I'm putting on for him. I'm getting him some food, nigga. Fuck. Hate me if you want to, nigga. Catch me if you can. I'm the gingerbread man. But point being, right, back to the main thing. Energy work. Told you I could slip off in a heartbeat. Energy work, right? At any given moment, man, I will send the fucking plank down over my body. I'll have it spin around me. You know what I'm saying? Like a plank, like just a wooden, you know, it's just it's a plank. It's the best way. But just like a bar, like a screen, like a light screen. You know what I mean? Or even in your mind, like they talk about gateways and whatever else, right? Um, and how any type of gateways can be used as a door. Anyways, point being, man, in your mind, visibly step through a bullshit uh, screen. Instead of the x-ray screen, step through a bullshit screen. And it'll. the more you use, like the energy tools, it's what it says in the book, energy tools. The more you use your spiritual flamethrower to burn away fuck shit, the more you use your... Your spiritual dildo to fuck the shit out of bitch. The stronger it's going to get. The more you use your spiritual lizard tongue to lick a bitch spine through her pussy. You know, the stronger it's going to get. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, the more you use your spiritual x-ray machine. Your bullshit x-ray machine. Your negativity x-ray machine. The stronger it'll get. So, every time you walk through it, it'll start blocking more and more bullshit. It'll start wiping more and more negativity away. Wiping more and more more shit away. You might have to step through that shit and like I said, nah, you still got some metal on you. Back up and take your belt off. You know what? Let me take this. You know what I mean? Let me drop one of these, another one of these shadow aspects of myself. You know, I ain't there yet. I ain't there yet. There's still some bullshit. I ain't recognize something about myself or somebody still pissing me off or something. Step back through the bullshit meter. Step back through the bullshit meter, you know what I mean? Or even just a bullshit meter, like the little wand, how they have, nigga, wand yourself. Imagine to be creative. Imagine a wand going over yourself, and it's like, eh, that's the bullshit meter. Hell, this just came to mind, um, creating magical entities, right? It ain't necessary. Even when we talk about shit, we can talk about kind of shit, right? But like dragons and whatever else, you feel me? Um, you can create some type of little thing it could be a creature of some sort that you like and you've always gravitated towards or whatever else it could be a creature like in real life you can create a fucking tiger that scratches claws this and that whatever or like them little mongoose type of things them bitches are really dope but they run around your clothes and whatever it create make a creature or something that feeds off the negativity and whenever you call that motherfucker it'll come in and do what it do like the sucker fish in the tank you know what i mean whenever the algae builds up and this and that happens the sucker fish do what it do get you some shit like that because my point was um i remember brother panic saying this shit too like and I was like, cool, now nah, I don't, because I, I, I try to be aware of being arrogant when I say certain shit, or at least I know I don't be thinking that, but it'll come off to other people as arrogant. <clears throat> A rule book of arguments, I said this earlier, want to share it with you guys as well, shout out to my ace. Um, yeah, man, you know, the way you feel, your factors, the shit that matters to you might not necessarily be the shit that matters to them, so if you even trying to convince somebody about how important the shit that matters to you is, you may have to compare it to some important shit that matters to them. Yeah, how that shit's important to you, that's how much this shit means to me. You see what I mean? So, anyways, 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 I digress. Let me put the black down. Um, but yeah, you dig, you dig. Accept your fate. <laughs> I hope you got it. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get let me get through this shit so we can get to some real shit. Cause like I said, I knew this is gonna be a minute, man. Um, damn it! I keep doing that shit. <laughs> Flip open the book to a whole another page. Cause that's what the anthropic principle, and I'm just gonna go through that shit really fast but this is the common misconceptions that we really want to get through because a lot of people go through this shit 
You know what I'm saying? This this is again trying to help niggas get to the advanced level quickly is my whole thing as as well. If we can skip some levels, let's fucking skip some levels, bro. Let's skip some goddamn levels, fam. Skip some levels, sis. I love you. Skip some levels, sweetheart. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> the destiny of every human is to become an independent person, right? Astrology shows us how this world has been constructed and what generates its events. So, a completed personality is a personification of the whole, which creates everything at every single moment. And therefore, humans cannot be taken to their completeness any other way but by the whole itself that made them. The road to such completeness and self-knowing as the knowledge of the whole is always individual because everything in nature is unique. Life is pimping. It's individual. You got to figure out what's good to you. How is it individual to you? These other niggas may have Jupiter in the third house, but your Jupiter, my Jupiter is doing Aquarius shit. And it's not in the third house. But say your Jupiter is in the third house. And it's doing some Scorpio shit. Somebody else's Jupiter in the third house may be doing... What's the opposite of Scorpio, my nigga? <sighs> Taurus shit. They both in the third, but it's two different goddamn things. It could be doing Sagittarius shit. Ju Jupiter in the third, Sagittarius, nigga. It could be doing that shit. What's the opposite of Sagittarius? Gemini. So it could be, you see what I mean? So even though it's in the third, it's still different shit. It is unique to you. Um, they do talk about time twins and how super fucking rare it is. But even with time twins, and I'm skipping ahead. But even with the time twins, people born at the exact same time, at the same hospital, even them niggas go through different shits in life. But there are eerily, a lot of the shit that they do do, they get fired from jobs at the same time. This person is over here in life. That person is over there. They get married at the same time, around the same time. You know what I'm saying? Events that generally happen, like in life, big life events happen to these niggas at the same goddamn time. And, and it's being studied too. But anyways, that's a, we may end up reading it. That's later on and whatever else. But the point is, it is fucking unique. The knowledge of the whole is always individual because everything in nature is unique. You cannot look to anyone else outside of yourself to figure your shit out. You come packaged the way you came fucking packaged. And astrology, which is why it's an ology, is a science. It just tells you how you package. There's nothing in astrology, as I'll probably end up reading, there's nothing in astrology that's based off of belief. Or superstition. You don't have to believe anything. It's just damn near like science. But we'll get to that. I mean, it is science. It's not based off superstition. Ooh, no. Or beliefs. We just believe that this is what it is. No, nigga, you can clearly see this shit in real life. So, 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 anyways, anyways, anyways. The birth of a human whose mission is to grow into a personality... It's nothing but an intersection of space and time. What happens when an unstoppable force reaches an immovable object? This doesn't stop for nothing. This doesn't move for nothing. There's nothing in the world. What happens when them two motherfuckers meet? Human. Once they intersect, a conscious life is born. In all other areas of existence, this, this intersection is not the real thing. They are all twisted, incomplete forms that constitute all other beings and everything living in nature other than the human. Only in the human image does the proper intersection of the time horizontal and the vertical eternal space, the heaven and earth, the consciousness and existence take place right horizontal and vertical time and space the consciousness time space and existence only in the human does the proper intersection take place right and again this is according to this book you don't have to just believe that whatever 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 this is the author whatever don't argue with me argue with the author right we in professor mode okay 
Just as space-time has its pyramidal hierarchy at the top, it narrows to consciousness and freedom. And towards the base, it widens into ever-growing inertia and conditionality. See what I mean? The formation of the personality, too, has its pyramidal structure. Like a pyramid. You see what I mean? Like a pyramid. So at the base, again, starting from childhood, it's all this shit that's been shaping you into who you think you are. That singular individual. That which makes you unique and authentic at the top. Your personality. The you. Right? But you got the base. Anyways, the base is way big. So anyways, anyways, anyways. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Damn, why I keep doing that shit, right? Okay. The widest base of the pyramidal structure of the personality is determined by the year of birth, right? Character traits of all individuals born in the same year are depicted by the Chinese zodiac in detail. Wood ox, 1985, but wood ox, right? <clears throat> An astrologer who fails to take Chinese zodiac into account while analyzing a certain chart is unable to view its completeness. They dabble with details only. To recognize this widest foundation of a certain personality, a more detailed and time-consuming observation is required. It is not obvious at first glance. The old Western astrologers who were unfamiliar with the Chinese zodiac suspected that there might be yearly cycles and tried to establish them by adding the significance. But that doesn't work. Okay. What is at work here is time. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me jump back real quick. Because I think this is, this is kind of effective too. Um, but again, this is all about the common misconceptions. Okay. The following higher structure of differentiation of personality. The following higher structure of differentiation of personality is determined by the season or the month of birth. The Western astrological tradition shows this in detail, right? The issue here is that it describes the position of the Earth in relation to the Sun and other planets. When observed from the Earth, the Sun moves along its path elliptically in like an egg shape and unevenly throughout the year, right? Therefore, it, it, okay, all right, blah, 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 blah. due to the Earth's rotational axis, see, this is why we in professional Z mode, real talk, um, it's getting all technical and shit, and I don't want to do that, bitch-ass nigga. Therefore, the beginning of each season is determined by the intersection of the ecliptic and celestial equators, a projection from the Earth, Right? This was taken to be the beginning of the cardinal zodiac signs, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, and Aries. Those are the four cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, of the zodiac. And they have always been the basis for measuring the time all over the world. Starting from them, all other signs were determined, set 30 degrees apart from each other. Starting from them. So that being said... Um, there's a lot of power in that. Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Aries. Y'all start shit. You crack shit off. See what I mean? So starting from them, everything, all other signs were determined. Hold on. Alright, cool. Gotta regulate kids and shit. And I'm still in Professor Z mode. But, you know, long videos. Gotta do it. So again, anyways, <clears throat> again, the big energy, right? Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, and Aries. Those are the four cardinal points of the Zodiac. And they have always been the basis for measuring the time all over the world. Starting from them, all of the signs were determined. Starting from them, they start the shit. All of the signs were determined. Set 30 degrees apart from each other. So, that's why Capricorn, man, anyways, anyways, anyways. What is at work here is time within the boundaries of which all phenomena of the wholeness is shaped. 
so like I was saying before, I got thrown off and whatever else, but my coworker that asked about death and memories and whatever else, right? What is that work here is time. Well, when you in a different dimension, let's say the fourth dimension, but when you die, when you go back, whatever else, right? When you're in a place where time is no thing, you can see everything laid out. So that's what I was saying about Candy Crush. I'm sorry it took so long to tie that shit back in, but like Candy Crush, you need a couple more moves. So I burn money for people to give them a couple more moves, but when they dead and dying and whatever else, they can see it all. All the memories from the past, all the memories from the future, everything that's happening now, they can see it all. It's all out there. They just may not have the energy to clue you in or tie you in or whatever the fuck. You see what I'm saying? Because energy is moving a different way back in, 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 this, in, in that uh, realm and dimension and have it is. But the point is they can see all of this shit. You see what I'm saying? So if you take, send money up to get money down, send energy out to get money back. You see what I'm saying? Um, as long as, the, you know, hey... That's the point here, right? We're talking about time. And you can see time. They can see time. Again, the deities, the guys, the goddesses, get you some hoes, get you some pippiness and whatever else because they're in a different place where they can see everything lined up for you. Everything lined up for you. So whether it's good or bad, right or wrong, whatever else, they can move some shit, place some shit in the way. Again, Ganesha energy, Eshu energy, Legba energy. You see what I'm saying? That shit. Get you some niggas that can open up doors for you or create one of your own. But that's the point here. They can see what's happening or what's going to happen or however it is. You know, so, so again, we're talking about time. What is at work here is time within the boundaries of which all phenomena of the wholeness is shaped or more accurately, the position of the earth in the space of the cosmos and not the mythology associated with certain constellations. See, this is why it's not, this is a fucking science, bro. This is not based off of beliefs or superstitions. This is based off of where the fuck the sun was when you were born. Where, and, and the time of year. You see what I mean? During this season, you bitch-ass niggas. Season. Give a fuck what constellation is up or whatever. It ain't got shit to do. With certain constellations, not really. It's what season, what time of the fucking year you were born. You see what I'm saying? A nigga born during the cold, during the winter, and whatever else is going to be more Capricorn-like. You know what I'm saying? Again, um, December into January, like where we at now, it's bringing in the winter. Ween, winter is coming. That's Capricorn. It's bringing in the winter. So what do Capricorns do? They shut down a lot of shit. That's why they so so quote unquote stiff and whatever else man they here to shut shit down that is it nigga you should have harvested everything you should have harvested when it was harvesting time that's it you should have got everything out of the life that you need to get out of the life when it was Sagittarius time you should have experienced all of that shit cause it's no longer Sagittarius nigga get it all out because there'll be no more sun Oh, not even no more sun. It's just gonna be the heat is gone. But I mean, they they shut the shit down. It shuts down, and then you hit Aquarius, cold blooded, yeah. I'm Rick James, bitch. But cold blooded. This is the heart of the winter. It's a fixed sign. You know what I'm saying? Just like Taurus, a fixed sign. This is, this is the heart of spring. Period. There are flowers and this and that and da and whatever else, bitch. I'm trying to frolic in the field. It do not disrupt my positivity. Period. April showers bring May flowers. That's Taurus all day. April showers. But anyways, 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 I'm just saying it's about the time of fucking year. What's going on during the seasons. Not the goddamn constellation. Anyways, anyways. The names of the signs have been adopted from the constellations, but the signs themselves do not correspond to the constellations due to a slight oscillation of the Earth's polar axis. The point of intersection in the sun's orbit and ah, uh, 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 we going too far in the technical nigga space. But you fucking get it. With so every 72 years and this and that and da 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 So at the end of the day, anyone who is minimally familiar with astrological principles is aware of the fact that signs are not constellations. Only the names are the same. And the signs are constituted by certain positions of the earth in relation to the sun as well as the concrete real changes in nature generated by those positions. The four seasons. Now, 
Why am I going so far in depth and it's took me so goddamn long? Thank you for rocking with me, but why? Real talk. Because, so you truly understand, accepting your fate, the quote-unquote destiny, whatever else, fuck them signs, nigga. This is the goddamn matrix. How so? Because down to the very minute, the fucking numbers crunch the goddamn damn numbers down to the very minute which is why all this shit has like degrees i'm an x degree of this so it's nine you know what i mean capricorn was in 26 degrees aries was in i'm nine degree area i don't give a fuck the point i'm trying to make here again we're not gonna we will get into the what that's a little while long a little bit in in the future we're gonna run through this real quick but it's about the why not necessarily the what the why right so again man it ain't got shit to do with these actual signs and shit up there. It's about what the earth was doing on the day where the spin was, which is where fucking Pluto was, where its spin was, where all of this shit was the very second you were born. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> which I think that's why even like time twins... You may be time twins, but I feel like there's no goddamn way that he could come down to the tenth of the second. You see what I'm saying? Maybe the same second you were born. Possibly the same minute. You know what I mean? Like, say you were born at 8.29 p.m. And another nigga's born at 8.29 p.m. He wasn't born at 8.29 and 42 seconds into the 30th minute. He might have been born at 8, 29, 13 seconds in, 14, 15, 16, anyway, anyway, I might be going too far, but that's why we fuck with you, OZ, because you will go there, and some of these niggas will not go there. Um, so, again, you dig, anyone who is mil minimally familiar with the astrological principles is aware of the fact that signs are not constellations, only the names are. So the position of the earth in relation to the sun, as well as the concrete real changes. Again, nigga, does it, it gets cold during winter. Capricorn, it is super goddamn cold. This is what it is, Aquarius. You see what I'm saying? Pisces, after Aquarius, is bringing in the spring. So everything is melting, it, it cuts through, it, it, you get what I'm saying, man, it's bringing in the screen. Anyways, 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 therefore, alright, alright, my bad, my bad, my bad. Astrological principles are constituted by certain positions of the earth in relation to the sun, as well as the concrete real changes in nature generated by those. Therefore, we are not affected by some mysterious rays from the faraway constellation filled with the fancy of our ancestors, but a real position of the earth regarding its environment and the state of nature at that moment. It is what keeps conditioning our lives in a way that can be validated both meticulously and scientifically. Something that astrology has been doing since the time, time immemorial, since the dawn of time. The reason why it's still not been wildly since, okay, we don't get all that right. With its seasons, nature shapes human character. Even for a lay person, a lay, it is pretty evident that someone born in winter, Capricorn, with their reserved, somewhat cold and abstract character is different from another born in summer or at the end of spring, Gemini or Cancer, who is emotional, warm, communicative, and accessible. Again, totally different from your Capricorn. Cancer is actually the opposite of Capricorn. Capricorn's opposite. But again, any, even for a, a you know, Lame, even for the, a layperson, a layman, the, the average Joe, even for them, you can clearly see someone born in the winter, all goddamn Capricorns, are totally goddamn different from all Cancers. And uh, communicates with those born in the beginning of spring, Aries, with their brisk, energetic approach to life, are considerably different from the hesitant, moderate, and considerate character types born at the beginning of fall. Hesitant moderate they'll con and consider it right libras will think about the approach before taking it versus aries who's the sign of the self will just go with it they're rash less tact and strategy 
But anyways, right? There is even a finer differentiation according to the signs of the zodiac. And it's pointless. It would take up too much. Right. So this is why none of that shit's highlighted. Okay. To a careful observer, it may be apparent that the character of a person born at noon is different from the one born at midnight. The former is turned outward, turned toward the public. The person born at noon. Um, blah, blah, blah. It may be apparent that the character of a person born at noon, the former son in the 10th house, is different from one born at midnight, son in the 4th house, which I will, we don't get to that. The former is turned toward the public domain, the person born at noon, is turned toward the public domain, career, politics, and events of the world, and the destiny unmistakably leads them there. While the midnight type is attached to their family and the home front, prefers to sit at home rather than travel all the time, or is some way forced to be at home or do the homemaking, their character is more intimate than the former. So the midnight person is more intimate, more introverted, than the noon person who's more extroverted. See what I mean? The time of day, even the fucking time of day, has an effect on you. Life is pimping, man. This is why we ain't went fucking crazy yet. And put on the mask and whatever else while I'm trying to put forth the serious front. Real talk, because life is pimping, man. Life is pimping. But the very moment, that's nature. It determines. When you took your breath, that determined what type of nigga you was going to be as well. Again, you're going to be mad at your mama for not waiting an hour like I said earlier, you're going to be mad at your mama for not waiting an hour later before she had you. It would have made a difference. But it's wild as fuck. But you, there's no way. So again, you unique and authentic as hell the very moment. It's even easier to spot the difference between someone who was born early in the morning just before sunrise, the first house, from one who was born when the sun sets. Someone who was born in dawn and someone who was born in the, the former one is very self-conscious and self-sufficient, Dawn, while the latter, Dusk, is dependent on others and the environment. See what I mean? Now, we just had noon and midnight at the very middle of the day and the middle of the night. You see what I mean? Well, what about early morning? Early morning, self-conscious and sufficient, while the latter, Dusk, is dependent on others and the environment. The former one, morning enjoys their solitude while the latter one dusk the former one dawn enjoys their solitude while the latter one dusk seeks the comp company of people continuously wanting to present themselves in public the former dawn is more inclined to experience whereas the latter dusk is likely to express similarly nature determines the character of an individual using part of day or night. Nature uses everything. It uses all this shit. This pimp never loses. This pimp never loses. It holds every nigga breathing. Even like they show you like animals and whatever else. Even the motherfucking animals have personalities. And when were they born? That's why they show you like these toys. They got toys. And I remember on some of them toys it would say this toy's name is Oscar. And Oscar was a, was born which or whatever the fuck. It'll give you all that type of shit to trying to show you like to give you an idea I think of what type of imagination? How do we imagine playing with this? Oh, Oscar was born in November. Oscar is probably a Scorpio. So this is just, that means Oscar likes these things, and Oscar's gonna be this type of. And I can create a whole kind of thing with Oscar and whatever else. And now Oscar, as an imaginary friend, is a Scorpio, for lack of better words. It's scary to say some shit, but you get the point, right? That's how they do. They was even doing that shit with toys, right? <clears throat> but basically, nature determines the character of an individual using part of day or night. The moment of birth as the peak of the pyramidal structure of personality provides the closing and defining imprint of the entire structure. All right. Moreover, it does not require too much knowledge to realize that all organic life originated under the influence of gravity. The sun first and foremost, but the moon and all other planets as well, because all bodies have gravity. Organic life is, in effect, our daily life and the basis for our destiny to take shape. In fact, organic life 
is our destiny. Overcoming it falls under the category of the ideal of human perfection and is known as the experience of transcendence in all spiritual traditions. However, this ideal is not the object of desire of ordinary people conditioned by their destiny, which boils down to everyday work and reproduction, together with rest and entertainment and the accompanying trivialities. This is all intrinsic to organic life. If they should happen to... Okay, okay, okay. The further assumption in this delusion is to know what phenomena are, the events that constitute our life. This knowledge is typical for the unconscious human who sees natural processes as something different from themselves and from what they do. Even the most educated among the unconscious people, physicists, are prone to it even though they know that microcosmic movement is subjected to the strong gravitational pull and the microcosmic to the strong nuclear and electromagnetic forces. Everything that is between these two extremes, which is our movement in everyday life. Despite this logic and these facts, they consider themselves to be different from the remaining nature, although our world is between these macro and microcosmic forces, as if between hammer and anvil. As if between hammer and anvil, you have no goddamn choice. We got to smash right in the middle of it. Also, hammer and anvil, it does what? Smash the shit what? Flat. Flat earth. But anyways, despite this logic and these facts, these facts, they consider themselves to be different from remaining nature. So this is, again, like you said, it, even the most educated among the woke because remember they were unconscious but they woke now. So it means you was unconscious but you woke now, dumbass nigga. Even the most educated. I myself at times. I don't mind playing, putting myself in that but I'm way past that. But anyways, again, even the most educated among the woke people are prone to it. Even though they know. Even though they know. Even though they know that it's as above, so below. And everything else. You feel me? Which is our movement in their life. Despite this logic and these facts, they consider themselves to be different. No, everything is everything. All is one. All is the all. It's all you, nigga. It's all a part of you. You doing this shit to all of that. Everything you do is a ripple out there. Point blank, period. Um, again, like, if water ripples when you touch it, and this and that and whatever else, then I look at the same shit like sound waves. Literally, when you talk, you send in a ripple of energy out through the air and whatever else right it was saying shit like um you know how like when you talk it's because i have the inner ear and whatever else i can hear myself talk but how i sound to me is not how i sound when i play this video back and it's recorded or whatever else of course it's digitized whatever the fuck else you get my point how i sound to other people and how i sound to me it's my inner ear and whatever else but sound any anyway, just in general it bounces off of shit so it's sending in ripples again like water be water my friend but Every little ripple, again, it, it affects shit, right? It affects the whole lake. That one ripple, if it's a big enough splash, you'll see it turn into a wave, whatever, but it affects the whole. Enough ripples become a splash. Enough splashes become a wave. Enough waves become a tsunami, bitch. Anyways, anyways. So, only at the point between the micro... And macro world in our human endeavor is the place where our free will rules. Although most no one seems to brag about having used it properly, this is how the human ego maintains the illusion of its survival by tricking you into think you have free will. So again, as I've been saying and trying to drive home, and I hope you've been watching this long, thank you, it's gonna get longer. Accept this shit. Accept this shit, accept this shit. You was born at the time you was born to the parents you were born. Just as much as you got to accept that, just as much as you got to accept that you have to breathe in air, just as much as you have to accept that, you have to accept the sun was in a place, the moon was in a place, and all that shit else was in a place. And we're going to get to some of this other shit. But this is, we're going to run through the, the highlighted parts real quick. 
I think I am going to have to pause, charge my shit for a second and come back to this. Um, but it is what it is, right? In reality, this is how the human ego maintains the illusion of its survival, right? By thinking that free will rules the shit, but it does not rule the shit at all. It's not ruling here. In reality, everything that exists in any way possible in or outside of us, in this or any other world, is the constituent yeah, constituent of the conditioned natural. Mm, excuse me. In reality, everything that exists in any way possible, in or outside of us, in this or any other world, is a constituent of the conditioned natural processes. And there is no such thing as unnatural phenomena. Everything happens for a reason. There is no such thing as coincidences. No such thing as coincidences. There are coincidences. That shit coincides with something else. You just might not know what the fuck it is. But for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. It just may take you a couple lifetimes to catch up to that fucking ripple. Okay? <clears throat> it is different in the level of vibrations and the quality of invested energy. Those differences give various forms to everything that exists and happens. Again, level of vibrations and the quality of invested energy. We could even say house and what the planet was doing. Again, for example, there's Jupiter in the third, Jupiter in Sagittarius in the third, Jupiter in Pluto in the third, Jupiter in I'm sorry, not Sagittarius, not Jupiter and Pluto, I'm high as fuck. And I'm still rolling, rolling, rolling. Jupiter in Aquarius in the third, Jupiter in Pisces in the third. All of this is a different type of energy invested and level of vibration. Those differences give various forms to everything that exists and happens. You rock to the beat of your own drum. I shit you not. The entire nature is made up of one energy and it manifests itself as movement. 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 To move anything. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to, okay, we're going to keep going, right? An illusion. An illusion that there is a fundamental difference between the invisible processes of the events of destiny, the visible objects, and our being, we can only interpret as our attachment to the limited physical senses and their point of view. That bitch ass, hoe ass, trick ass, monk ass, lame ass, whack ass, puss ass, bitch nigga ass body that we possess. The phys limited physical senses, you can only see what you can see, taste, touch, all them shits, right? The limited physical senses, hear what you can hear, dogs hear more. And their point of view, what you register from that, what you calculate from that, again, what the brain gathers and what you ascertain from that. So your limited physical senses and your point of view. Forces that lead human through life and give them a certain destiny best reflected in the events that occur are as much a part of nature as the force that keeps the blood flowing through our body and all of organic life. Fuck makes your heart beat. That's nature, nigga. So the events that happen to you are no different. The forces that happen outside are no different than the forces that are happening inside your body. The egoic way of observing things, the ego way, egoic way of observing things is the only reason why we consider our blood flow to be a natural urge, our external actions, our free will. And all the other events are a mere coincidence or destiny. All other events are a mere coincidence or destiny. Right? Mere coincidence or destiny. Such distinction is the rampart of our ego or and ignorance and thereby our suffering. Okay? 
the ego. The ego. Let me break this shit down. This is why this shit's highlighted when I say text me. The ego's way of observing things, your ego's way of looking at it, is the only reason why you say blood flow is natural and that shit is external. See, that's my Aries punching, slicing, dicing, whatever. Anything that happens outside of here, this is external. This water bottle, this shit shaking inside is external. It's not me. I mean, I'm shaking it, obviously, but it's external. It's not a part of me. The only reason why... It's the ego, I'm sorry, not the only reason why, but it's the ego's way of doing shit that says my blood flowing is natural. Me breathing, that's the that's the natural urge. And everything else I do or have done, everything else that's happening to me, every other part, you know what I'm saying, this job I work, it's external. Me getting fired from anything else, any other event is external. All other events are external and it's coincidence or it's destiny because I'm this and I'm that or whatever. Such distinction. You saying that shit, it happens to you and it's external. It's not you doing this shit to you. Such that distinction. If you are not agreeing that life is pimping and you are your hoe and you are, are, are even just understanding that you are the hoe in this shit. If you don't have that distinction, such distinction, my bad, is the rampart of our ego and ignorance, and thereby our suffering. Such distinction is the rampart. This is why I wanted to have the phone by, because again, to show you how it is, my mom told me this, and this is also some shit that you do in school, but my mom told me this, because she's the one that put me on reading books, so I would always like come to her, what's this, what's this, what's this? Nigga, go get the dictionary, or we need one, but back in the day, we didn't have one. Um, you know, it's different, like encyclopedia and this and that. Now you can just Google the shit. But let's get it. Such distinction is the rampart of our ego and ignorance. Define rampart. Here's the definition of rampart. A defensive wall of a castle or walled city, having a broad top with a walkway and typically a stone parapet. The verb of rampart, right? Such distinction is the rampart. The defensive wall or walled city, the rampart of our ego and ignorance. The defensive wall of our ego and ignorance and thereby our suffering. Verb rampart as a verb is means to fortify or surround with as if with a rampart. To fortify or surround with. So whenever I hear a motherfucker hollering about changing this and that and woot whoop or whatever else, you know what I'm saying? You ain't changing what you got going on to make the events outside of you change what's going on. You see what I mean? You don't change what you got going on in order to make the events outside of you change what's going on. It's the events outside of you that changes how you feeling on the inside and whatever else. Cat Williams, it's self-esteem, nigga. How the fuck can any of this affect how you feel about you and your star player, my nigga? I'm telling you, my life is so motherfucking pimping and these niggas be knowing it. You are killing your own self, right? However, in nature, there is no suffering, all right? It is a divine, perfect whole. There is no suffering. They bite the throat, kill the shit. It is what it is. You live, you die. You see what I'm saying? Um, suffering exists only within the boundaries of ego in the outside world, which the ego projects. We do not want to see the unity of nature in organic survival and our deeds because we do not want to admit to ourselves that we have done very little in our lives outside satisfying our biological needs, barely scraping the surface of our spiritual essence, the real reason why we exist in the first place. Pause. <coughs> I could have started the. I could have just did the fucking video and ended it right goddamn there with that shit, right? The egoic way of observing things is the only reason why we consider, right? Suffering, my bad. This is what I want. Suffering exists only within the boundaries of ego in the outside world, which projects, the, which the ego projects. Suffering exists only within the boundaries of the ego. We do not want to see the unity of nature in our lives and our deeds 
because we do not want to admit to ourselves that we have done very little in our lives outside satisfying our biological needs. You walking dead ass, these walking dead ass niggas. That's what the walking dead is, satisfying our biological needs. They just focused on one, to eat. But for all extents and purposes, them shits were alive. They walk around and eat brains, but that's how they're alive, right? But there's... You don't want to admit that you're pretty much walking dead. Everything you do is satisfying our biological needs. Like niggas that jack off every day. Period. You just, you jack off. It's just sad. You're not doing it. Are you doing it for a mental this or whatever? Are you cracking off a spell or some magic or something? Every goddamn time you're just doing it because it fucking feels good. That's external shit. That's the body. It's just satisfying a biological need just because it feels good. At least understand that you have these urges, these cravings, this energy. You can do something with it besides jacking off every day. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. It's just some of these niggas. That's the whole point. Like the multi-orgasmic man and whatever else. Nigga, you better figure out how to deliver and literally drop unlimited dick, nigga. How to drop unlimited dick on a bitch and whatever else. You know what I'm saying? It is well. Even like women and whatever else. You know what I'm saying? By being so tapped in, tuned in and whatever else, you know what it takes to stay wet and wherever else, right? Because, see, you know, blood, that dick be warm. It be warm, it be hot. This is the gym. This is another gym. Take notes, class. Of all levels and varieties, take notes. This is the gym. But I had this discussion. You know, you know, you know. But, again, man, that dick be hot. That warm blood be flowing through a nigga dick. It be warm. You see what I'm saying? It be warm. So, guess what? It cools it off and keeps you cool and to keep whatever else, right? That pussy juice, that nice lubricant. You see, when you have a machine, when the shit gets too hot, parts break. You see what I'm saying? This is why you need hydraulic oil. You need the good lubricant to keep it going. To, you know what I'm saying, be able to regulate the steam, the heat, the energy. You got to be able to regulate. So, again, for the females as well as the males, you know, being able to understand your energy, your body, your this and whatever else helps you be able to help the man again deliver unlimited dick and either or again you could turn the magic on off whatever you want to or it's power and make making them up come when you want them to come you see what i'm saying the game got no choice you take another three strokes in this pussy nigga you're bussing play with it if you want it niggas cheating started the pussy countdown on your monkey ass because niggas got energy like that <laughs> It's the truth. All right, man. I got to take another pause. We two minutes in, but I'm going to go get my uh, charger so I can plug that up somehow, some way, and we can keep rocking. Because I'm not getting ready to stop this video, man. It's, it took too many days, too long to do this shit, and we going to keep going. Give me a second. Ugh. Yeah, nigga, and we back. All right. Um, Yeah. It worked out. I was able to find a short extension cord, plug my shit up. So we back to rocking. Um, hmm. Don't be a groupie, keep it moving. <clears throat> yeah, all right. <laughs> Meaning of life. This is something else that it came up, man. You getting ready to see. Because, again, I did think about this as well. But I don't know, fuck it again. I don't know how much time I'll be having and whatever else, man. But I do be having a lot of fucking knowledge, a lot of gems to drop. So thanks for rocking with me. And apparently this is what we're going to do, man. We're going to run this shit for hours if we can. Um, if I can find the time to do this shit, then this is what it is, man. And when I find the time to rock for hours, that's what it is. But let's go, let's go. Um... <clears throat> Because we do not want to admit to ourselves that we have done very little in our lives outside satisfying our biological needs. Paying bills to keep a roof over your head or something or whatever. But even again, a roof over your head is because you don't want to be out there in nature. So satisfying your biological needs, clothes or whatever else. Because you don't like the whatever for going out there feeling naked and whatever else. It's human constructs, right? Or you can't walk outside naked without catching a charge. For indecent exposure type shit. So again, man, the real reason. Okay, 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 okay. Right, right. 
Very little is in our lives outside satisfying our biological needs. Barely scraping the surface of our spiritual essence. This is why they want you walking dead. They want you locked in to all of this and all of that and whatever else. They want you caring more about the story. Caring more that it's a kid's movie. Than about the fucking hard facts of life that they're actually showing these kids and dealing with and whatnot. The hard facts of Grimm's fairy tales. You see what I'm saying? It's real shit going on. God, I need to do the school of good and evil. I've watched that shit a million times. I keep thinking I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I need to get back to the school of good and evil. I was picking that motherfucker apart too. I'm gonna get back to that. Picking that shit apart. Just little just little shit that I see that's like off. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be again, I'm just an extra regular ass nigga, man. I'm just an extra regular ass dude, bro. I'm not even trying to. I know what I call my professor OZ. I'm the wizard. I'm not the professor, so to speak. You know, I don't want to come across as too pretentious and matter of fact. I don't want to do all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm the most knowledgeable nigga and shit. Again, I told you, I got Mars in Gemini, not Mars in Sagittarius, not Mars in some of this other shit, like Mars in Capricorn that's very goddamn serious about this and that. Don't, just can't stand me. Mars in Gemini, I accumulate a lot of data, a lot of information. I accumulate a lot of shit. I want to know a lot about a lot. That's what, a polymath. I know a lot of shit, a lot of information in a lot of different subjects across a lot of different fields. You know what I'm saying? That's a polymath, the jack of all trades, you could say, master of several. <laughs> so I'll damn be damned before I say nothing. I got a couple of them. Kitching. They know you know what I'm a master of, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Got titles. Anyways, <laughs> having fun. Told you, nigga, I'm feeling good. Can't loosen this up, my girl. Come on, bitch. Oh, okay, my bad. Just caught up on my motherfucking. Tassels. I didn't know. I fuck my nigga. <laughs> Damn it, I had to rip that shit open and caught on my fucking tassels. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Uh mm, mm, mm. Our spiritual essence, the real reason why we exist in the first place. This is largely due to the traditional ignorance of what our spiritual essence is. And we will delve into this subject further on. The last and firmest assumption of a average Joe, a layperson, a layman, a lame, who does not believe in astrology is based on the previous one. By distinguishing the natural processes from their actions, their ego creates an illusion that they have free will. This conviction, which is nothing but the manifestation of their unconsciousness, is so widespread that many of the commercial astrologers fell in line with it. They'll go so far as to maintain that human that the human has free will and astrological factors only show tendency, which a person can either use or benefit from or pass on and end up failing in the long run. What I say and what the book is getting ready to straight up explain to you is no, nigga. That is not how it works. This shit shows you exactly who the fuck's pimping you and how. That's all it is to it. Who the fuck's pimping you and how? What's governing the bullshit in your life? See, see, see. We pay attention to the bullshit. That's mind control. Trauma, repetition. Brother Panic says that shit an awful lot. But trauma and repetition and mind control is one of the easiest things, the the, the easier, easiest ways is trauma and repetition. But when everything's going good, you living high on the hog, you living high on the hog. If money's flowing in, do you care how much and where it's coming from and this and that and whatever else? Few people, Virgos do, few people pay that much attention to the details and whatever else. As long as the bills is paid, it's fucking paid and be good, man. You all right. So when things are good, as long as you winning, you winning. As long as you're winning, you're winning. It's the bad shit. It's the negatives, you feel me? It's the negatives that really stand out in your life. Most of folks can tell you how bad it felt, how horrible it felt when it was fucked over. 
It's either that or it's the best day of my life. The best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. You see what I'm saying? Most people remember them two extremes. Law of polarity. But again, man, that's... that's <sighs> Walking Dead. Their convention... Conviction. They, this conviction, which is nothing but the manifestation of their unconsciousness... Oh, my bad. It is true, but only for an enlightened human, not for the mere mortal. They go so far as to maintain that the human has free will and astrological factors only show tendency, which a person can either use and benefit from or pass on and end up failing in the long run. And it is true, but only for an enlightened human. So, again, Jupiter in the third house can... Jupiter is, is luck and expansion. So, that's third house is communication. It can blow up, give you luck, and expand your communication. You can have luck in expanding your communication. You see what I'm saying? This is an area of life that you have luck and expansion in. Jupiter in the third, people whoever the fuck that may be, and whatever else, right? But, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See, I, I this shit isn't highlighted, but it's truly dope, which is why I had to do this. And like I said before, man, that be shit that be trying to pull you away. But no matter what, keep coming back. Especially if any nigga, you got shit in the 12th house like me, keep coming back. Do not let it go. Again, it be shit like that that deters me, that makes me like not want to do a video because it be like so hard to express shit and whatever, man. You got to do it. You got to do it. I'm going to show you what a nigga that don't give a fuck look like. And I'm also showing you in real life how this shit plays out. Because I know, but I know it's the shit over there so I can benefit, use the benefit from it, use it, or pass on. But again, again, again. It's true, but only for an enlightened human, not the mere moral. This conviction is appealing because it confirms the ego's unconsciousness. Although... With just a little common sense, it's obvious that humans cannot breathe or blink at will and that all of their physiological functions are unconscious and spontaneous. This is not only true for the internal processes, but for the external events as well. Nobody really counts how many times you blink or whenever you blink and whatever, you know what I mean? I'm just saying you know that you blink or you need to blink. You can't just sit there for too long without blinking even like the breath and whatever else you're taking in breath to talk and whatever else you don't count how many times you breathe you just think it's just natural so just as natural as you needing to breathe and whatever else that's just as natural as the fuck shit that happens to you in real life it's just as natural as some random person hold on what's up little man i want some cereal you want some cereal mm -hmm. okay i'll hook you up another brief pause Okay, daddy mode. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Gotta take care of shit. Um, <laughs> but I digress. Let me let me see if I can jump back in. Again, sorry for the pause. Sorry for the pause. Sorry for the pause. Okay, cool. I will go here with it, right? Sorry for taking that little brief snap back. But I mean, again, for y'all, it's probably just a click, you know, a little uh -uh moment in time. For me, it's the whole thing that just happened there. Matter of fact, you're going to put that away, put that, put that away, put that away right now. We're we going to pull it out in a minute. We're going to pull it out in a minute. <clears throat> See if you're still here for the strip show. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. Not to turn off anybody, but... All right, man. Um, back to business, real talk. <clears throat> it is true. The human has free will and astrological factors only show tendencies which a person can either use and benefit from. 
So the way I like to look at that type of statement real talk, which is why it's, again, not one of the highlighted, but it's a statement. We've got to burn through this shit, too. I keep saying that. And here we are. Just another page in type shit. Um, but, uh, 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 again, astrological, when you, an enlightened human is basically what it's saying. An enlightened human has does have free will. And the astrological factors, the shit that you was born to, only show tendencies. This shit will bubble up in life. It will happen. I mean, once you, I mean, you are in a human life and you can't control anyone else and the type of shit they go through and what they're doing and whatever else. So, I mean, it, it, it shit happens. It could happen. That's all we're saying. It's, shit could happen. That's all. So. But not for the mere mortal. Okay. Alright, okay, I was actually past that. Alright, as I'm reading. I'm sorry, my bad. Smoke with me. Damn, calm down. You know, we chilling. I'm rocking with you, fam. You got me, bro. You got me. You got me, sweetheart. I'm here now, fam. You know, I, I'm with you. Chill out. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm chilling. You got me. You feel me? You can pause, come back, peep your timestamp to... Oh, 05 is what I got, two hours and five minutes, a spiritual ass seven. But hey, man, you know what I mean? You can pause, come back to 205, and then, you know, we continue the video from that. But I'm, I'm chilling. You got me. Just know you got me. Why the fuck is my black so holy? Yeah, damn. I feel like I got holes all over this motherfucker. This is why I don't really fuck with it. But I got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got no motherfucking time. My bad. I ain't gonna go into that. My bad. I'll be slipping off. I'll be slipping off. I'll be tripping. I'll be tripping. I'll be tripping. I'll be tripping. <laughs> let, me, let me keep it going. Because basically, it's like, you know, this shit's gonna happen. But you can kind of, like on some Thanos, you bend this shit to your will, so to speak. But now you're the gravitational pull. So... It'll either benefit you, again, it all depends on how you look at the good or the bad. You may not even recognize that the shit that it's making do to you is bad, but you're tripping and breaking your ankle right now is more preferable to some shit that's going to happen later in life or whatever. You know what I mean? Hey, I read that about a nigga. Ah, man, it might be coming up. But I do believe it's like that Aquarius shit. Anyways, we gonna we gonna find out. We gonna find out. We gonna find out. Um, and we gonna run straight through it. Ah, see, check this out. Astrology is quite aptly named as science because, in its essence, that is exactly what it is. We might have already read this. Everything in astrology is based on facts, such as the exact position of the planet, observing and analyzing facts and their practical verification. There is not a single element of belief or superstition in astrology. For the proper understanding of astrology, what is required is a conjoint knowledge of all the sciences without prejudice. Ancient knowledge offers a far bigger and richer perspective than mainstream science would have us believe. <clears throat> For the proper understanding of astrology, a polymath is required. Conjoint knowledge of all the sciences without prejudice is required. So we almost there. I'm going to skip back to, again, this is like common misconceptions. This is a lot of shit that niggas get wrong. And that's why I'm taking so much goddamn time on it. Because once I start going with this other shit, And we come out of Professor Ozimo, you know what I'm saying? This is Saraswati. We're we're in we're in Saraswati mode, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I got a car, you know what I mean? This is this is Saraswati mode. I'm trying to teach you something, I'm trying to teach you something. You know what I'm saying? But it's just it be that divine feminine. I ain't no bitch. Don't get me wrong. But you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't feel like being ex exposed right now. You know what I'm saying? Don't pay attention to this. Pay attention to my mind. Listen to my intelligence, not my body. Uh. <laughs> hey, dog. I am so fucked up, nigga. This nigga got me right. That's all I can say. 
nigga, I'm still in the fucking zone, my nigga. Thanks again. But yeah, I hope this is a hell of a video that helps everybody. So, again, man, we, we, we got to keep it pushing. I'm trying to keep it pushing. I'm trying to cut it down, but try to cut it down. My bad. But my black is fucking holy. And it's pissing me off. I'm gonna have to take it. I'm gonna have to take another brief intermission. Alright, bet, bet, bet. I'm back. Punk ass pussy. Slam a tip on that. And, uh, we, we, we. Smoking way better than we was. Alright, alright, alright. I'm just living life with you. Tell you, nigga, I'm chilling. So, alright, alright. Let's get through it. Let's get through it. Let's get through it. Okay? Calm down a little bit, you know. It is it it shuffle through some shit. Like, so I'm fucked up. I am feeling great right now, and we ain't even took the shot, cause we ain't got there yet. Wait till we get there, and I got something for you. <clears throat> but again, this is all about killing it out, man. So we can get like past it. This shit is based off of fucking facts. The sun was here. This was doing that, and all of that affects nature in some kind of goddamn way. On Earth, period. The planets move. Hell, you know the moon and the tides. So why wouldn't any fucking thing else than gravity and again that goddamn ripple? Even if it's way far away, I don't fucking matter. Anyways, anyways, anyway. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, man. All right, all right, all right. But for again, for an enlightened human, you do have free will. This is the shit you got to deal with. But at least when you know this is what you're dealing with, this is what's happening. This is where your free will comes in. Like I got a friend, right? Um, one of the things this nigga goes through is it be really dangerous motherfuckers that are attracted to this person, the dangerous people. And I try to keep it, you know, male or female, because there are dangerous ass women out there, but it's just easier to go with a female, uh, and the male, female, male example, right? So if she's a female and she attracts a lot of dangerous men, like... Ooh, even when I, when I think of dangerous people, they shoot niggas too, don't get me wrong. The females that'll beat a nigga up in a heartbeat. But the same thing, the dangerous niggas. Niggas that literally have robbed niggas. Niggas that literally have been to jail for, we talking dangerous, let's say 7 to 10. They really is in it. Or they really was doing it. Or they was, it came with them type of, how about this? Not not county, or state, fed chances, them penitentiary chances. You know what I'm talking about? If I'm doing it, nigga, I'm doing 10 to 15 fed time. The feds is coming after me, nigga. This ain't just some local stuff. You know what I'm just saying? <clears throat> yeah, do it big then. But you get my point, man. You get the point. You can pick and choose. You can, you can kind of use the shit for you or against it, but shit's going to happen. All right, for an enlightened human, the shit that's gonna happen is gonna happen, regardless. But you can kind of, again, like I said, gravity is what I was saying. My bad, gravity. I'm trying to remember where the fuck I was at before I just keep keep running off on something else. But gravity, right? How it pulls and that's how it affects. Like the moon affects the shit. Everything else affects the shit. It really goddamn does. It really, really, really fucking does. <coughs> All right. It is hard to be fully aware of this because the natural conditionality is flexible enough to enable all the life and the moments the way we know them within the back. Hey, fuck all that. Let me skip over. Right. <coughs> Every mature human, right? Fuck a grown ass man or woman. It's a mature adult. Every mature human upon, upon recapitulation. Let's do it. I love you, mom. And on some Sarah Swati. And to show you niggas, this is what you got to do. Don't be afraid to do it. This is what we got to do. And this is what the fuck we got to do. 
Define recapitulation. Here's the definition of recapitulation. An act or instance of summarizing and restating the main points of something. Boom. Every mature human, upon summarizing and restating the main points of their past life and actions. See? Every mature human, upon recapitulation, upon summarizing and restating the main points of their past life and actions, would admit to not being the one who chose their destiny, at least most of the events of their life, or at least most of the events of their life. So again, back to what I said about death and memory and whatever else a little while back, and my co-worker and whatnot, I mean... You can see everything laid out. They can see everything laid out. So you can choose this life or choose that one. But everything is already laid out. If you go to these parents, you're going to be born at this time. They're going to give you this name. And then possibly and then all the infinite dimensions and lifetimes you can play out and whatever else. And then like um, on Wakanda Forever, you know, they was doing shit. And it's like, what's the probability? 98.9 percent i bet so there's a higher chance that if i get born to this nigga and this nigga it'll end up like this versus if i get born to this nigga that it's a less of a chance higher risk higher reward whatever else there may be more of a chance to burn through some whatever shit it may be high risk because there's more of a chance to add on some spiritual karma debt whatever the fuck else versus burning it off but you always take that risk of adding more shit on the shit you already doing and you already got cracking, man. You always add that risk. Just by being a human, period, you coming down here on some shit. Like I said, for your heart to be lighter than a feather, you got to look at them niggas and mean it. Fuck them kids. They grown now or hey, you know, I did what I did. Here's again, punk science. Like I said, everything's all laid out. Fuck them kids. They knew I was going to die. There was a... X amount of chance that I was not going to be here. Their parents was not going to. They chose that shit. Fuck them. They'll be all right. There's no need for me to linger around or come back around as a spirit or hang out as a ghost and see what these niggas know. I'm not that fucking attached to my kids. They will be adults and grown and whatever the fuck one day. I look at my parents and how they relate to their parents. Y'all talk to them niggas every day and all that whatever. So when I, I'm not going to do you niggas like that. And again, my kids, niggas, they're not going to do me like that. They're going to move on with their goddamn lives and whatever else. And it's nice to know that my dad is still alive. It's nice to know I'm still cracking and cranking in something somewhere. You know what I mean? It's how my kids are going to act to me. So again, I'm not putting my all stock in my faith in him. Like, I'm not going to stop my ascension, my transcendence for my fucking kids. Fuck no. Love them. Die for them. But again, that was just put me on the next zone and again an act of sacrifice and gender you know, I'm just saying man shit nope but again the kids can be a whole thing so everything all of that shit you know what I'm saying you would admit I'm just saying that the life that you looking out on as a star looking down at these lives you can pick and choose and whatever else as a soul you know what I mean as a, as a, what spirit do I want to inhabit the spirit of James do I want to be OZ Osborne do I want to be James Fieldman, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, my grandfather keeps coming in and whatever else. I want to say like another goddamn church song. It was one of his shits. In this field, he calls for serving. In this field, he calls for serving. In this field, he calls for serving. I'm glad I'm in this field. Said I'm gonna serve a little while and I'm going on. Shout out to Pops. I had to get Monroe Johnson. That's him. I mean, it is what it is. That was him, but that's my nigga. That's my, my granddaddy. So, again, man, you know, they can see everything played out. They can do it or whatever. That's, you know what I'm saying? Even that little quick shout out just gave him some energy. He might be, you know what I mean? Fuck with me on the back end. But, um, and it is whatever. Again, I do it for no cause, for no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for nothing. Do whatever you can do. Even if it's not for me, help yourself. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing this shit now. I'm already human now, nigga, so let me know when I get back here. But the point is, it's all laid out. You know what I'm saying? So even if you came in and you did it, your past lives and actions, whatever else, you did not, you're not the one who chose the destiny. You chose to drop in whenever, whatever else. But again, there's all these infinite this, that, and whatever, right? It's if you even gain the recognition. So anyways, all right, all right, all right. 
The recognition of this state is further complicated by the fact that the things they consider to be the expressions of their free will are predetermined by astrological factors at birth. So, um, part of why I'm trying not to flip out and I'm hoping that y'all are re reading between the lines. We, again, over two hours in. Thank you for st staying with me, rocking with me, or coming back and whatever the fuck else, right? I appreciate that shit. But, uh, again... The recognition of this state is further complicated by the fact that the things they consider to be expressions of their free will are predetermined by astrological factors at birth. The shit you think you doing and you think it's you? No, nigga, that is Jupiter acting through you, bitch. It's not even you. It's Jupiter in the third house, my nigga. It's Jupiter in the third house. That's why, again, we talking about... The latest, the last and firmest, the most firm assumption of a lay person, of the average person who does not believe in astrology, is based on the previous one. You think shit is different. What happens outside is not what's going on with you. It's organic survival and our deeds, but we don't want to admit that you've done very little outside of satisfying your biological needs. You don't want to admit that shit. And that's why this shit is so fucking firm, right? The recognition is further complicated by the fact that the things they consider to be expressions of their free will are predetermined by astrological factors at birth. So like Men in Black, this just came into my mind, Men in Black 3 or whatever it is, when he met the dude that could see the different dimensions and he was like, did, did you have chocolate milk today? Or did you go with the, yeah, I went with chocolate milk. Oh, shit. And do 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 do, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, this is that. This is that reality. Woots, woots. You see what I'm saying? It's all predetermined. And this is going to happen and that's going to woot swoop. And then the so-and-so, because he was like, so-and-so drops the thing and then the woot swoop. And then oh, take a step back. Bing. It was all predetermined. He, How did he know this shit? How could he... Because it's all predetermined. I mean, him being a different being, like I said, it... it, it, it hold on, hold on. I went kind of fast. I skipped over this part, right? Um, it is hard to be fully aware of this because the natural... Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 not that. No, 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 no. Basically... It's just it, it's just a lot of shit. For you to even be able to recognize all of that shit, that's why it would take more than one lifetime for you to get like a PhD in every goddamn subject. It just takes a whole lot more than one lifetime to fully understand this shit. So you get what you get during this lifetime. That's all I'm trying to get at. All right, all right. But I, well, I might come back to that. In a minute. But again, the shit that you think is free will is already predetermined by astrological factors. So already, the planetary aspects and positions that make people dedicate their lives to sports or theology, for instance, humans accept as an expression of their own free will. This is because astrological factors work from within, unconsciously. Walking dead ass niggas, zombie ass niggas, right? This is because they're zombies. This is because astrological factors work from within unconsciously, much like our desire and our will work in the outside world in the form of events. They predetermine everything. Our desire and our will. It's not your desire until you become an enlightened human. And understand from jump, it was the character, the avatar that you was born to is that nigga's desire. My desire of a spiritual nature, the desire of a spiritual note, is on him. And it's this and that. You see what I'm saying? As above, so below. There's three chakras low, three chakras high, and they all bleed into the middle. They don't just go up and they're saying, and, oh, I'm elevating, elevating, elevating. If you only hear a nigga talking about elevating, they on some fuck shit. They need, they lying to you. You're only elevating from the lower chakras to the heart. Once you get to the heart, the shit stops. You don't take it no higher. You see what I'm saying? You don't need, there's no need for that. It gets to the heart and stops. You see what I'm saying? How come motherfuckers ain't talking about um, if elevate is to do this shit, 
then what is it to de, de to decline or to to you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't talking about doing that shit. Slope the downward spiral. You know what I'm saying? The downward slide. Why niggas ain't talking about that? You feel me? Or just in general, like to me that that's why I keep saying there's no good or no bad or however it is. If you too much on the good, you got too much light, you cast in shadows. Light, there is no light. You know what I mean? Light put shadows on shit. There's shadows left and right. You feel me? Shadows. Um, you got a light right in front of my goddamn face. But shadows. You see the shadow on the wall in the back? Where well, there's light, there's shadows. So literally darkness. You know what I'm saying? But where there's darkness, it's not like. But anyways, anyways, I'm just sorry. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <clears throat> our desire and our free will work in the outside world in the form of events. They predetermine everything. Whether someone will be religious or not, superficial or fanatic, or successful in their career, or a failure in life, as well as the kind of marriage a person will have, and what clothes he or she will choose to wear. <coughs> Everybody, see, that's why I took so much time going through the beginning of this and everything else, right? Whether someone will be religious or not, like we just went through that shit about the time of day. To the careful observer, it may be apparent that the character of a person born at noon is different from the one born at midnight. And then you add in the fact that this is a person born at noon during the fucking spring, which makes them, those born at the beginning of spring... A brisk, energetic approach to life. A brisk, energetic approach to public career, politics, and the events of the world. If they're born in noon during the spring. Versus someone born at midnight who's more intimate being born in Capricorn. So even though it's the Capricorn, a midnight Capricorn may be reserved somewhat cold and abstract character but because they were born during the night whatever else they instinctively know that even though they're more reserved in this and that they need other people the midnight type is attached to their family and the home front prefers to sit at home but capricorn is the social sign the sign of social status and whatnot right do it big then they prefer to be seen for their car and known that they got big clothes and good money and shit like that. You know what I mean? Big money and good clothes. See what I mean? I told you the Mercury shit. Mm -mm -mm. Almost caught me. Um, 12 house shit. But again, you, you, you get the point here, right? You can, And then as I'm breaking it down, you see how that shit matters and how you can easily figure a nigga out. Just with their birthday or the time of birth, rather, with this shit. So, again, man, a midnight Capricorn is actually more, I, would, I wouldn't I would necessarily say touchy-feely. I can't do that. But would be somewhat less cold and abstract because they look to um, be attached to family and the home front. So, that's, again, your family, your cousins. And just saying, you know, family and the home front, the kids and this thing. You can't be cold. And like I say, you know, the very definition of a leader is that people follow you. You feel me? You can't be a leader if nobody follows you. So, there you go. A Capricorn, a midnight Capricorn. You, you get my point. I ain't going to go too, too much on that. But, again, the very part of day. So, that's back to how <laughs> they determine everything. Whether someone would be... Everybody ex exercises their free will, but it is different from one individual to another because everybody's will is determined by the astrological influences from their natal chart or the moment of birth. These influences are expressed by everyone as their will, but it is in reality their temperament and character that is being expressed. If the astrological influences are constructive and positive, they will following their will they will experience their positive accomplishments if they are negative and destructive then their will willpower can only lead them okay 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 because that threw me off there was a whole lot of wills in that will 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 the fuck if the astrological influences are constructive and positive, they will experience their positive accomplishments. That person will experience their positive accomplishments. If 
the astrological influences, they, the astrological influences are negative and destructive, the astrological influences can only lead the person to their own demise. This is why it is common knowledge that people who are experiencing their darkest hour in life or are otherwise prone to doing bad deeds are hard to be influenced or able to mend their ways. They see their lifestyle as an expression of their free will and their achievement. Oh, because I've always got this and this has always happened to me. Pay close attention. Another gem for the class. Because this has always happened to me. And oh, because this keeps happening. And oh, because my peoples was like this or like that or however, whatever, however, whatever, however, whatever. It's my fault. That's your achievement. This is what you've accomplished in life. Again, they're hard to be influenced or able to mend their ways. This is common knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like if that motherfucker's a fiend, that motherfucker's a fiend. You can put them in, in rehab and they had it. Some of these motherfuckers, they turn around and go right back. And you put them in rehab and they didn't, you turn around and they go right back. You can try to defy this shit all you want to. You can try to put this shit against all you want to. But you are who you are, my nigga, until you figure it out. Until you go through that and whatever else. Until you check yourself in rehab. It ain't gonna fucking work. It's an individual fucking realization. The shit is, you are unique and authentic. Well, it might not. It, may, it might work. Depending, again, the aspects and astrology and whatever else. That's where somebody... That's where another shit comes in, like, again, like, you may be predetermined or destined to, you could do that shit. If not, then it'll prolong some shit. Well, that's why I was saying before, how you could fuck yourself up, excuse me real quick, how you could fuck yourself up and be creating more spiritual debt, more karmic debt for shit in the future by doing shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You were supposed to help this nigga out, or you were supposed to take that loss, but you were so much in your ego, you did not bow down, you did not submit, or again, you were so much in your ego, you took it too far you took it too far so now you gotta pay for that but you ain't gonna pay for it now we gotta set up the right conditions for you to pay specifically for that back in blood as they say and that might not happen this lifetime you 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 too nice so you got this or that or however it is but next lifetime we gonna make sure you you, you the bitch ass nigga born on april 28th we gonna make sure that you don't even get a choice this time, nigga. As soon as you die and go back to the spirit realm, the niggas is sitting there waiting to blast your ass right back into some human shit before you can even... Anyways, I'm sorry. See, I'm speaking off on shit that you gotta be dead to understand. Walking dead. Back to the walking dead. These niggas... Okay. Hmm. To such individuals. Right, right. See, it's hard for them to be influenced. Uh, com people. Who, okay, this is why it is common knowledge that people who are experiencing their darkest hour in life or are otherwise prone to doing bad deeds are hard to be influenced. They don't listen to other people or able to mend their ways because they see their lifestyle as an expression of their will and their achievement. They think they're the ones that did this, man. I, I caused this. I did that. I did. And their achievement. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, technically, you pulled the trigger. But why? And this and that and whoops and whatever else. The whole event, period, is because this was that and this and that. And because Saturn, the whole event was set up for you to pull the trigger on a nigga. You see what I'm saying? Everything was set up. And I do mean the proverbial and the figurative, you know, the literal and the figurative trigger. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to literally be, but whatever it would take to end a nigga life. You know what I'm saying? Or to end the, end the conversation, end the argument, to kill it, to dead whatever you need to dead, nigga. But anyways, anyways, it's common knowledge because they won't change their ways with it because they think that they did it. Again, it's their achievement. Oh, I earned this. I, I deserve to be punished. And do, 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 do. Nigga, it was never you to begin with. Bitch ass nigga. Again, as a god talking to other gods. Fuck makes you think that human shit. Why would I associate with this human shit anyway? That's my punk ass body. That's human shit. So, yeah. 
Anyways, anyways, let me let me keep moving. I got some more. I got some more, and then we're gonna really get to it. All right. To such individuals, the only way out of their doom is to listen to other people's advice and not to follow their innate nature or what they perceive to be their will. Again, as I'm getting ready to point out on some of these niggas' birthdays, on this in, in this goddamn birthday book right here, real quick. Oh man, I'm 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 telling you it. It sometimes like that's the uh okay what well, I'm trying to get at boom boom okay, ah, I'm trying to run that shit from me nigga I got it right back right so houses right from what I understand about the houses listen to a nigga say on YouTube and I'm correlating it now I can't tell you who and why I don't give a fuck but listen to a nigga say that um the houses right if you don't have anything in any house if you missing like you have no planets in them houses nothing's going on in that house. More than likely, it's, it's two different things, right? It could be that, again, this lifetime, it could be two different things, how I look at it, two different things. In this lifetime, this human, this body, this lifetime that you're inhabiting right now, you did not have to deal with that shit. You didn't have to deal with it. You don't have to go through it. That's not a lesson that you truly got to learn. It's not that you won't go through it or you won't have to deal with those type of things because that's an energy, it's a force that's out there. But on the whole, overall... You have no, that's not a focus in life that you, that's not an area of life that you have to even focus on. It's either, it's just going to be straight uh, on the even kill. The highs won't be too high. The lows will never be too low. You got that shit going. You know what I'm saying? For you, this is not the, the, the time, not the lifetime for you to have to deal with that shit. Like, let's just say you got nothing in the third house we've been on the third this whole time you ain't got jupiter you have nothing not jupiter not no uranus no moon nothing in the third house so that means communication you won't be too good at it you won't be too bad at it but communication is not something that you even have to focus on so on the whole people won't get caught up on how you talk and what you're saying or it'll just come across to who it needs to come across to in all the right ways or whatever else say you perfected the gemini and the sagittarius energy so there's no reason to have anything in the third house at all because the third house to me is like gemini sagittarius we'll get to that but there'd be no point you don't need it so that's the whole thing again um certain cats and whatever else like i've got a bunch of shit in the 12th house so apparently that's the general focus of this lifetime this is what's going on here but again point being that may be what you need to actually do come out of again i got a lot of aries energy come out of yourself stop being so selfish and so again uh, leo is the is the ego it's the sign of the ego so wherever you got leo you gotta watch that shit you should already know that it's the wherever you got leo that's where you might be tricking yourself you see what i'm saying literally tricking yourself wherever you got leo that's where the pimp resides nigga again you see we talking about the ego is way it's looking at this and that and whatever else and see leo wants attention for the ego it wants attention for the soul again leo wants attention it's bringing attention to the ego so you could all this just came to my mind you could look at it like wherever you got leo you see what i'm saying wherever you got leo that's your ego coming at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You definitely, you did, did, hey, it's it's shining light straight the fuck on this. So, yeah, man, wherever you got Leo, that's your direct fight with your ego. That's your direct fight. So, <clears throat> like, I'm a Taurus with a Leo moon straight up. I'm a Taurus, so I have to expose myself. It is what it is so that it's real. You understand it. Just in general, oh, man, I ain't scared, nigga. Uh, Leo, Moon. So my direct fight with my ego is on. It's an emotional battle. Or say it was a nigga with a Leo rising. So you fighting your thoughts. Your ego is coming straight at you through your thoughts. Your very thoughts, nigga. You going to war with your very thoughts. You gonna have to go to war with. Because it's ego. You're going to have to check your very fucking thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Again, me, my emotion, and whatever. Why I do shit. I have to check my intentions. Am I doing this for just because I got the heart to do so? You know what I'm saying? Again, am I doing this for attention? Again, it's that Leo shit. Am I doing this for my ego or am I doing it for me? You know what I'm saying? Again, having a Leo moon, it damn near took the goddamn Taurus. The Taurus is stubborn and won't budge. No, nigga, fuck that ego shit. 
fuck your thoughts and your fucking feelings, nigga. It's going down. <laughs> Anyways, all right, my bad. Keep it moving, keep it moving. But for some people, that's all I'm saying. You might have to do that. You need to... That's that's the part of life that you really got to actually focus on, man. Listening to other people's advice and knowing that, like, Jupiter with luck and expansion. Hell, Jupiter in the third... Other people's advice may be what blows you up, where you get the luck and expansion. I have Jupiter in Aquarius, right? If I had Jupiter in Aquarius, Aquarius is a sign of brotherhood. So Jupiter in Aquarius, if my Jupiter in Aquarius was in the third house, again, my advice, the advice coming from Jupiter in Aquarius would give you, would grant you luck. It's a sign of brotherhood. So my friends... You get luck and associations. Y'all get, you would get lucky from paying attention to my advice, listening to me, provided I'm on, you know, I'm balanced with this shit. You feel me? It would be luck and expansion. We could blow shit up. We could expand. Make it way better than what it is. But anyways, you got to know this type of shit. That's all it is. Um, but you would have to know to listen to other people's advice and not to follow your innate nature because nature, again, nature it's the body, it's the, that's what's fucking you up, <clears throat> that's the pimp, the main motherfucking pimp, that's what it is, right, you know what I'm saying, like, I even get it, as far as mother nature, you feel me, pussy is irresistible, it's irresistible, it's irresistible, so mother nature, oh, she's irresistible, no matter what you in it, see, see, we, nigga, we in it now. I'm in the motherfucking air now. We wet right now. She wet now. This nature, wherever you go, you sitting in this pussy. Real talks, cosmic egg. Anyways, anyways. Message. Let's keep it moving, right? The conditionality of nature demands subordination. You see what I'm saying? It's almost, again, the very nature of pussy. You have to enter it. You got to come over here. That demands subordination. The very nature of getting pussy. You have to come over here and insert your shit into this. You have to submit. You got to come over here. I mean, that's that's the nature of it. Don't get me wrong. Well, no, either way. You see what I'm saying? You gotta, it's, it's still a subordination. You gotta get the dick hard to, to get up in here. Which means you gotta be attracted, which is subordination to me. It's still the same goddamn thing. You still gotta get the dick hard to even insert it in the pussy. Well, you kinda don't, but you get my drift here. What, what is that? You gonna get, hit a bitch with a soft dick? Anyways, 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 man. I'm rambling. I'm just going, cause we chilling. Matter of fact, fire up the blunt, man. We still cracking. <clears throat> the conditionality of nature, the conditions of nature, conditionality, just the way nature is, demands subordination. Some events are determined to a greater degree, whereas some are far less so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Insignificant and petty events are determined in their local environment by the immediate causes or are a question of coincidences because their importance bears very little leverage coincidences if you haven't figured that one out yet my bad um, for the layman laypersons average Jews insignificant and petty events are determined in their local environment by the immediate causes and are a question of coincidences and are questions of coincidences and not coincidences because their importance bears very little leverage on the person's life. However, life-changing events which are fundamental to development and destiny are determined by the higher causes. Astrology deals with the latter type. Life-changing events which are fundamental to development and destiny. But truth be told, even the most insignificant event could be directed by destiny. Like I said, you pick up this cup, burst deck, even the most insignificant. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to fire something up. I chose to grab the blunt instead of chosen instead of picking up the black. That could mean absolutely nothing to a nigga, but it could mean everything to a nigga at the same rate. It's still directed by destiny. 
You see what I'm saying? And if that's the case, then where's that bitch at? Nigga, you got me fucked up. I will beat your ass, Destiny. I'm on it. Anyways, 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 anyways. You get my point, man. <clears throat> so truth be told, even the most insignificant event could be directed by Destiny. So if we deal with these walking dead ass niggas that don't understand shit and don't really believe this or not even believe in, who aren't, just who aren't rationally coming to these conclusions... Because, again, it's not about belief or superstition. They don't understand this. There you go. Understand this. Overstand this. The fuck comes up with all this shit? Understand. Oh, you got to understand. Or you got to overstand. Well, why are we outerstanding shit? Where's the nigga that's outerstanding? There's understanding. Where's the outer... See what I mean? Shut the fuck up. Anyways, man. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be, I be tripping, I'll be tripping. <laughs> okay. Therefore, to understand astrology, we should distinguish between relevant and irrelevant events. To understand the law of causality to all my hermeneutics, hermesists, hermeticists. To understand the law of causality that rules over nature and our destiny, it is imperative to know that nature is not only what we can perceive with our physical senses. It is multidimensional. The law of causality extends over the whole nature across all of its dimensions, which explains why we do not see the law in its entirety, but only the parts that appear in passing through the physical plane. And if we happen to be nearby, we can detect them or be informed of them in some other way. Since we fail to see the entire flow of causality, but only the fragments of it, again, like most niggas got to go to a nigga to even give them a brief insight or glimpse into their past lives, nigga. You cannot and no, be in this life and see everything that happened to you and experience everything that happened to you in your past life because it took a lifetime to do that shit. You see what I'm saying? To feel every feel and hear every conversation and every word. It took a lifetime to do that shit. So you can't. But again, 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 just the point I'm trying to get at, we only see fragments of it, the shit that we're dealing with right now, this lifetime. And again, like with time being no thing, this could be a middle lifetime. You see what I'm saying? This ain't even could might not even be one of your final lifetimes. You see what I mean? This could be one of the ones in the middle. And then when, you know, like you, what I mean by in the middle is, say you've, you, you, you've lived a thousand lifetimes, right? And you came out of that. You feel me? You might have thought it was cool to go back and live life 722. Do that shit again. So now that we're doing it, you know what I mean? The fact that you then came back in, well, life 900 and 10, life 910 that you lived out of the thousand, right? Life 917, there you go, boom. Life 917, right? Life 917, some shit happened that actually would have no bearing on anybody else but life 722. So now that you done died and you in this place and you, you done peeped that, it's like, oh... Well, what was that? And wooty wooty woot. Well, it could play out like this, like that, whatever. You might be the curious type or just curiosity killed the cat. Well, fuck it. Let me go back to life 722 and see what that thing was that life 910 might have altered my whatever else. That looks fun. It looks like something that, you know, it wasn't that bad. And I've already been through 722. So I just tell what I know when I go back. I'm going to be more familiar with these cats, so I'm going to normally lean more towards that. This thing, you know what I mean? I'm good. So I already did this life before. But point being, you can only see the fragments of it. You don't know the entire flow of causality. You, can't, you don't know what's going to happen at the end or what happened at the beginning. You only get a fragment of it, just a little bit. That's what we're in. But not being able to perceive, hidden away from our senses, the chain of causality on the higher dimensions, events, and phenomena may seem like the numinous whims of some god or devil. But miraculous events are nothing more than the manifestation of higher dimensions in the lower ones. It seems that evil rules and there is no justice and that the strokes of luck are undeserved. Oh, I'm sorry. Since I, 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 
Yeah, it's right there backwards. Since we fail to see the entire flow of causality, but only the fragments of it, it seems that evil rules and there is no justice and that the strokes of luck are unpreserved. No justice. No, that was justifying shit that you did in previous or upcoming lifetimes, you hoe-ass snicker. That's what it is. Well, just in general, my bad. I don't mean to talk to you like that. I don't mean to talk to you like that, man. Calm down, OZ. Why you gotta... Why you, mm, Cause ain't no hoe in me. <sighs> The reason religions and philosophies, and you got to know this shit, because again, this is why them niggas is walking dead and we ain't. The reason religions and philosophies are even built on such ignorant lies, ignorance, lies in the fact that we do not see the whole of the natural processes in all dimensions. Science deals with it, and therefore astrology cannot be one of its subjects because it points to all phenomena across all. All dimensions. And that's, again, even with that, these highly logical niggas. And again, like I said, how I got Jupiter and Aquarius, so that's where my Aquarius shit comes out. Nigga become highly illogical all of a sudden. But, again, wherever you... I get... Oh, my bad. Shit's rocking. I guess what I'm trying to say, the reason why I'm saying this like this is because wherever you got that air, like I said, some people, it's say straight up sun sign. You were born a Libra, born an Aquarius, born a Gemini, but wherever you got that air and that air energy, it's going to take that shit away from you. It's going to sap that shit away from you. You're going to have to try and understand, you know what I mean? It, it can't be, um, they'll try, I'm just trying to say the scientific mind, right? Science deals with it, and therefore, basically, it's them, them niggas. That's all I'm saying. Them niggas that try to pinpoint shit on the here and now, trying to lock it in on the know it's got to be this and this, that and this, that and this, this. Again, if niggas ain't talking about multidimensional, it could be good, but it could be bad. That's polarity and shit, nigga. If niggas ain't talking about the multidimensional, eat a dick. But you just, just, I'm sorry. You got to understand. That's all I'm saying. We went through the book. <coughs> Shit's multidimensional. <coughs> Goddamn, nigga. Smoke, then talk. Let's try not to do both, bitch. <coughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm with you on that. All right, all right, all right. Put the fucking phone down. Anyway, nigga. We even got our definition. All right, all right, all right. It's as though, all right, only when we take a few steps back and see the big picture, we realize that unconnected and inexplicable phenomena are the building blocks of the entire whole. The same applies to nature and its phenomena. We observe our physical lives through the narrow channels of our senses and limited minds. And to us, they appear imperfect, wrong, illogical, and unhappy, like victims of all kinds of suffering and injustice. It appears that life shows up anew only to disappear into the oblivion of the next moment. See what I mean? Day to day, moment to moment, shash shit. But only when we can objectively perceive all dimensions of nature are we able to see that our physical life is a tiny piece of a far bigger process of the maturing of the soul until it reaches eternal life, which is the reflection of the perfection of nature. With this dimension, nature represents the perfect, timeless whole and purest benevolence. And purest benevolence. And it's kind of fucked up to say, but purest benevolence kind of puts me into the mind frame of, oh, well, this is why everything feeds off of something else, to be fair. Period. It's almost fair as fuck. It's pure, but it's, it's fair as fuck. For you to live, something else got to die. So there's something here that's going to eat you when you die. There's something here specifically to kill you so that you can die. And move on. Otherwise, again, it's just eternal. It's whatever else. But it's just fair as fuck. I hate to say it. It's just it's fucking fair. 
wow, that's just my mind how I think. Maybe I need to think a little deeper into that. But that's the whole point. It's all about making it deeper. Astrology displays the processes of causality that go beyond our century range. The strings nature binds us with while conditioning us are long, fine, invisible, are long enough, fine, and invisible to provide us with the freedom of movement. The freedom of movement. Although there are some people who have been denied even that, like artistic and whatever, life makes you crippled so you ain't even free to move certain shit you gotta you know what i mean it, it matters not even just that you feel me life will get your ass locked up nature it was in the cards this was destiny for you to be locked the fuck up and you ain't free to move how you used to move fucking kids god damn it kids Urgh! Fuck them kids and kids will keep you locked up they re they restrict your freedom of movement son now your life is dedicated to your boy. Well, I want my son to be the greatest and to this and to that and to that. And just get the fuck out of here. Your daughter and this and that, whatever. Like, again, the crude. It's all about keeping your daughter in check. That's just what I'm saying. It's, it just, it's, you get the point, man. A lot of these fucking fairy tales and whatever else they show you is like trying to keep your kids in check and whatever else. So, anyways, 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 anyways. Um, <clears throat> the strings of nature bind us while conditioning us the strings nature uses just read the shit OZ are we are we coming down is it is it no nigga we good we good we good we still full of this energy let's get it the strings nature binds us with while conditioning us are long enough fine and invisible to provide us with the freedom of movement necessary for satisfying the biological urges for survival. Even the lowest urges drives at that. This kind of freedom is needed for biological survival and nature has granted it even more so that even animals are able to have it. So again, what separates man from an animal? You're just a goddamn animal, so to speak, at the end of the day. Because there's really no real separation. You're still a biological entity, man. So the same shit, this kind of freedom. That's what makes motherfuckers think that they got free will. That ain't free will. That's freedom, but it ain't free will. It's freedom of movement, but it ain't free will. You feel me? This kind of freedom is needed for biological survival, which back to the said, most of, most of you niggas, that's your whole life. That's all it is to you. That's all it is to it. But that's your, mostly your life, just satisfying biological urges. The only reason why you want to go back to school, not to gain knowledge to actually be smarter in something or to do something better or whatever else because you want a bigger check so i think this is where you know you, a lot of people go back to school just to get a bigger check bigger check for what to satisfy biological urges not to actually get smarter or to be more proficient in your profession just to satisfy biological urges or you want to be more proficient in your profession so that you can get more money to satisfy your biological urges you bitch ass nigga so again, just know what type of hoe you are. That's all it is to it. This kind of free. That's just it. Or just at least under acknowledge the fact that you fucking, you, you out here on the stroll, bitch. You on the stroll. You on the track, nigga. That's what this is. You came to planet Earth the very moment you opened your breath, nigga, you hit the track. Bitch, you on the track. Straight up. <clears throat> These individuals whose minds are restricted to the sensory and physical existence only, this dominantly biological freedom to fight for survival, create uh, those individuals whose minds are restricted to the sensory and physical existence only, create an impression that people are completely free with it, so much so that they can build democracy, human rights, and religious morality, while at the same time thinking this kind of freedom came from God. The choice between good and evil that nature gives us simply by being born for the sake of biological survival is not freedom, but the choice of how to satisfy the instinct for survival, which is polarization at best of the same conditionality that is flexible enough to enable the physical substance of an individual. 
We may be in a position to freely decide how we go about our urges, but we begin to project this kind of freedom that does not suppress, surpass the conditionality of nature naively onto all of the areas of life, even onto the spiritual essence, essence we have not yet encountered. Okay? All right, that's the ego doing that shit. Again, Pete Kane, that's the ego. We may be in a position to freely decide how to go about our urges, but we begin to project this kind of freedom. The ego begins to project this kind of freedom that does not surpass the conditionality of nature, that does not surpass the ways of God, naively onto all areas of life. Just because we cannot move to and fro, hit or caress someone, and talk gibberish if we choose to. This, okay, now just because we can move to and fro, hit or caress someone, and talk shit if we choose to, this does not mean we are free. It is an illusion. It is the freedom of the ego and zombie unconscious beingness. It is the freedom of the ego and the unconscious beingness. Okay? Astrology shows all the ways in which the human is conditioned, is being pimped. Astrology shows all the ways in which the human is being conditioned, helping us to get in touch with our real spiritual freedom.